Welcome <laughs> to tonight's episode of Iron Valor. Uh, I am your game master for the evening, uh, Daniel Hodges. Um, and uh, you're looking at all of our lovely cast members. Um, that are left. That are left. <laughs> the hashtag, ones that remain. Hashtag rest in peace, Percival. Um, a couple quick announcements. He's in chat, though. He's in chat. He has arrived in the chat. Um, He's with us in spirit. Do He's with us in spirit. My in spirit. dude. <laughs> My Literally most, figured my out. dude. Mostly spirit. Um, almost all spirit. So, <laughs> couple announcements before we get started. Uh, we want to shout out our partners. We have two partners that we work with primarily. The first is Nine Realms Gaming. Nine Realms Gaming um, it creates top-notch gaming accessories for um your game they make dice vaults they make dice trays um they make these uh, uh fan like 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 this right here um i spelled everything wrong but they look like this and they're yeah. amazing I and fantastic you. this is a hero vault in particular um they also make um th they they have this warrior set which is like a dice mean. tray and tower and case all in one like look at this like look how amazing that is um it's just a dice tower it all goes in perfectly right here um you can get that on their website ninerealmsgaming.com and you can use our promo code um liar10 to get 10 percent off of your purchase something like that um can i interrupt you for just a minute Dave? sure did the alert box get deleted off of the main overlay did the alert box get deleted off of the main overlay? Um, the, that would be that may be the reason why the commands aren't working. Maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'll see if I can find that on there. But anyway, you can go find Nine Realms Gaming, and you can get use our promo code to get ten percent off your purchase. Um, Ink and Liar Ten. Uh, then the other sponsor is Wonder Lily Dice. Um, they're a fantastic company as well. They make uh, handmade artisan sharp edge dice. Uh, they're uh, wonderful and terrific. And you can go to the website uh, wonderlydice.com and get 10% off your purchase there by using either Liar10 or Ink and Liar10, something like that. Uh, and you can get a uh, promo code there. Uh, we want to let you all know that we're working on our first community challenge so you can redeem uh, your. Um, scrolls uh we're making a or we that we have been requested to make a snock tarot card from our face in show so you're gonna use those scrolls you contribute to the points you earn channel points simply by watching the show uh and once we get to we have 30 days total to put together eight hundred thousand points which is super achievable and we can do it as a team for all of us so if you have points you should do so uh there's a, a button at the bottom of the chat window you can do that Shout out to Sirenscape uh, for all the ambient music and some of the sounds you're going to hear this evening. Uh, you can join, and if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to follow, subscribe, join us on our socials, Ink and Liar everywhere, our Discord as well. You can join the community over there. Subscribe on our YouTube, subscribe to Prime here, all those fantastic things. That being said, we're, we're going to go work on the alert box and make sure that's <laughs> ready. And get that in here for you. And if we can do that before the intro's over, we will. If we can't, you'll come back to a Be Right Back screen. And we'll get into <laughs> tonight's episode of Curse of Strahd.
Let's just come back in. Let's just get back into the stream. It doesn't sound like a compliment. It wasn't. So <laughs> don't worry. It wasn't. Oh, no, I'm dead. Probably. <laughs> oh, we're, we're back. Yeah. We are back. Well, no, everyone. without any warning. <laughs> he said, let's get back into the stream, and that was the warning. Wow. It was, the it was subtle. I wasn't anticipating <laughs> that. It was subtle. So last we left off. This entire party was at the Wizard of the Wines, preparing to enter into the uh, the the Slavic woods in search of the ruins of Berez. They were looking for that because they wanted to acquire a second magic gem for the Wizard of the Wines, so they may further increase their standing with the feather. They were promised a side door into Ravenloft. They were. They were promised a few were ravens to explore Argonsvort, and of course the undying loyalty of Davian, and I don't know, maybe a promotion for Valerius. Who knows? But for whatever reason, they headed to the ruins of Perez. On the way, they discovered themselves off the beaten path, off the map, as it were, inside a hole on the map. They heard a woman crying in the woods that they ignored. They found an island with a mysterious uh, mysterious tree, water, saw fear. They met a ghost, or I should rather say the ghost of Shrek. They saw a graveyard in an old battle. And they found the ruins of Perez. They found Babala Saiga. And a coven of hags as they were performing a ritual of rebirth for the old crone. All fought valiantly. None so none more than Percival. Who amid the megaliths of the ruins of Berez took his last breath amongst friends fighting for what was most important his friends and the vengeance upon, for his wife's death he joined her in the afterlife as we Sit amongst these stones. You all find yourselves with Percival's body's la Percival's body laid over the ritual sacrifice that's covered in goat's blood, and the corpses of the hags and Babalasaika around you. You've all reacted to this, felt the emotional impact of it, and now comes kind of the logistical side of death. He's gone. He's not coming back. What do you do now? Speeches? I'll give a speech. I got you guys. Speech. Speech. Go for it. Stand over Percival's dead, limp, mangled body. He got blasted. Poor guy. Seventh level spell. Never saw it coming. Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty good. No, now with the long faces here, folks. Percival. He's a man of few words. If he was here right now, he'd say, that's right, nothing. But, <laughs> but, but, but somewhere, but, Percival's <laughs> angry. 
couldn't stop it. I thought about it. I was like, I gotta do it. But we came, we set out here for a good reason. Percival was all about helping people in need. And so here we are, helping bring wine to the folks to cure their weary souls in this terrible place. Alcohol is the only means of comfort. And on that mission, on our way to get drunk with wine, we must never, we must never forget. We have, we have, we have a, we have a goal here, people. Strahd, Strahd's got to die still. And Percival died, but I think we all need to think about ourselves for a minute. Do any of us really expect to live through this? I don't. And if I was you, I'd, I'd also not expect to live. But we will go down as legends. We'll march with the ghosts, and we'll we'll tell other adventurers of our stories. <clears throat> if we fail, that is. I don't expect to fail. Oh God, choking. <clears throat> <laughs> so so let's let's not mourn too much. Percival was a great man. A few words, but one thing I know he did like was killing Strahd, and I I don't I don't plan to not go do that. And I think we should, I think we should maybe have a bonfire here in the Haglands. Where the fuck? I don't know where we're at. Uh, <laughs> have a, have a, I'm thinking like a Viking set off setting. We burn them in like logs, gather around it for warmth, drink alcohol, speak fondly on memories that I have few of. Natalia is very quiet. <laughs> trying to be serious now for that. <laughs> but uh, she will stand up and uh, and she'll just kind of quietly mumble like, I'll go gather firewood for the pyre. And she'll just kind of like wander off to go get some. Coyote will join her in in the quest for sticks. He's very good at finding <laughs> those. I mean, I like, mean I'll prep the body. I'll help with that. Let's do it. I steal a sword. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was holding it. Where did it go? <laughs> and we burn you the man what? before we divvy up his possessions. Oh no, we God. have to wrap him in cloth. Well, you don't want his possessions to get burned. Why not? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, we put him, of course, we put him in a nice little pile over there, but like, we do Wait, that who's, who's holding all our gold? Me. Oh, okay. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I was waiting for one to loot the body. <laughs> it's like he's still here. I can hear him. <laughs> he's yelling, don't touch my stuff. And I'm ignoring him. <laughs> All right, Tag, grab the legs. I'll get All the right. arms. We'll do. We'll cover him in goat's blood. <laughs> no, okay, no. All right. All right on an right. altar? <laughs> Wait, are we doing a sacrifice? <laughs> I mean, they did a fancy spell with, with the goat blood. Maybe yeah. it'll work for us. Yeah, I brought a life right to her. <laughs> Can't move. <laughs> There are many, as, as the two of you are preparing the body for the pyre, um, that does involve uh, a bit of the looting. Um, Torthak, you already have the sword. You've already picked that up. The sun sword is in your currently in your possession. Rushville also had a battle axe on him. Uh, his holy symbol. He's, of course, wearing plate armor. And his shield. I mean, do you do anything with those things? I mean, he can keep that. Do we have a we have a tuxedo? No, <laughs> dude. We don't have coffee. You sure as hell don't have a tuxedo. <laughs> It was the last nice thing our family owned, and we've been passing it down <laughs> ever since. He's always dressed in his tuxedo underneath his full plate mail. All 
I mean, should we like should we like carve stuff in his plate mail like 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 you like write on people's casts when they break their arms and stuff? Think of all the ways we can desecrate this man's corpse. I mean, in loving memory is not desecration. <laughs> Get your yearbook signature on his plate mail. <laughs> Yeah. You could use it as his headstone. Mm -hmm. Man, Mr. B's class was the worst, am I right? <laughs> There's a, a good summer. There's a moment while you guys are preparing the body, Coyote and Natalia, you find yourselves alone in the woods, collecting the um, various sticks that you can. And over time, you guys can collect whatever you need. Is there anything you do while you're out there? I will say something to Coyote. Uh -oh. do you I think do like you before you ask. <laughs> she <laughs> stops. That's not what I was going to ask, but I'm glad that you do like me. Do you think that the others will accept me? Oh, well... They are my friends. I don't want to say they're uh, closed-minded or nothing, but they do seem to be a little touchy about the uh, vampire things. I don't know if they'd understand right away. I don't even know if that's what I am. Obviously, she like kind of leans over and like by a nearby brook and just like like rakes her hand through it she's good and she just looks at you and goes no burning hmm. and i've clearly stepped into the sunlight when we met that other vampire but i don't know what i am those are promising and you said you don't you don't know why this is happening no, I know why. Hmm. Is this something you'd be willing to share with everybody? You think it'd help? I want to tell them. But I'm afraid to tell them. Hmm. hmm. I obviously Why? don't want to die. I've pictured and rehearsed the conversation in my mind plenty of times, and yet it always goes better in my head, and I don't anticipate it going well. Hmm. Well, who you know, do you think? Hmm? Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, who do you think, um, who do you think might be the most amenable? Tolthak. Yeah, he's good people. Maybe we could tell him first, just uh, see, see how that goes. Take it one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> a level of difficulty. <laughs> that might be a good idea. That way, we can maybe get some more people on your side in case uh, the others need some convincing. You know, my eyes used to be Hazel. Did they? They did. I was never turned by any kind of bite, that's why I find it so strange. I was hmm. offered this power. She just kind of like taps her necklace. It drew me to it and spoke to me somehow. And I took it. Whose was it before? I can't, no wait, I do remember the name. I don't remember the last name. Uh, Thrainer. <laughs> Thrainer last name. <laughs> <laughs> was was throwing her last name a, a good person? I don't know who they were, actually. Hmm. 
Well, I was going to say now might not be the time, but I think we've all seen your, your little friend do some weird stuff by, by now. If we don't get ahead of it, they're going to start asking questions, and I don't think we want them coming to conclusions on their own. So you think I should tell them all now? Mm. Mm. That is a that is a difficult question. That is a unsatisfactory bitch of a situation we find ourselves in. Is Coyote slowly becoming Arthur Morgan? Because I would love that. <laughs> You're a good man, Coyote. <laughs> oh, well, my. Perhaps not tonight. Yeah, maybe we just read the room and see what, see what goes on. All right, we, we, should, we should probably get back. This is enough. Well, it should yeah. be enough. Should we, should we burn the hags too? Oh, most definitely. I think this will be enough for all of them. A separate pile, I hope. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not tainting our good buddy right, Percival's. Like, we're, not like Chris got thrown <laughs> we're not tainting the good <laughs> sticks with the bad sticks. <laughs> yeah. no, yeah, we're gonna piss on the other sticks. pile first. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Get some pe- leaves. Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, we're not. <laughs> Oops. Definitely not. You say piss? Wow. <laughs> what? Bro! He did it again. <laughs> oh my god. What? Whoa, piss? I don't know. I mean, like, what level of bad word do you think that is? I think it's like a solid three, four. Yeah, it's not that high. It's definitely above frick. That's <laughs> 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 My Christian Minecraft. <laughs> we return from stick gathering. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, freaking sticks. <laughs> Guess we make a nice pile with the ones we got. It takes longer to build this sort of pile than you might normally think. It's like Game of Thrones, Sir Jorah mm-hmm. pile. Yeah. We make a couple trips. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you you make you make a you make a pile and maybe you're not used to burning bodies. I'm sure that doesn't occur very often for any All of the you. Time. All the time. We had festivals it, where we put their heads on stakes and we'd burn the rest of their bodies. So you build I the can't pile. Always leave heads attached. <laughs> You'll be, start to build the pile and you know, you make one that's about the size of Percy and when you go to put him on there, he looks like he's too big. And so you gotta pull him off again and start start again and you build a even larger pile than before. Douse it in maybe some alcohol or oil, whatever you have, to fight the wet wood that permeates all Barovia. And you lay Percival's body upon it. Probably dis- disarmor him so he's not cooking in metal and he can actually burn. And Torthak will take his battle axe with no intention of ever using it in battle. But you've got it there. Slowly but surely, Percival and his firepower begin to smoke. And he goes up in flames. And amid the trees and the ruins of Berez, Percival's body turns to ash. And that will come and go without issue. Is there anything you want to do? between now and morning light. I have something if no one else does, but I am willing to wait if someone else wants to do their thing first. 
Is there anything we can loot from the hags? Sure. Um, you can go ahead and give me an investigation check, Coyote. Pipe bones, eh? Okay, 13. 13. 13 is not bad. Um, so as you go to go to look over the hags, um, one of the main things you find on their person is just a ridiculous amount of spell components. They they have these robes that have if if it's not dozens, it might be hundreds of pockets that they have all in all in here and there's just you know, you, you you find sulfur and you find crow's feet, and you find uh, all those different pieces of metal. Uh, you find all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, each of their, um, each of them has some sort of um, arcane focus. Each of them does, and um, that serves as a kind of like a, I guess how you would say like a like a plus one wand, for lack of a better term. Um, but it's stick. yeah it, it, it well it's not a stick not a stick it's like a mm -hmm. it, is, it is some sort of like dream catcher like hag like thing they're all That's a little me. bit different but the three hags each have one um now Babala Saga um she she has she has one as well and hers is a plus two but it's quite they 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 all have a, a, a infernal kind of nature to them they are a, a little bit icky i guess you might say but they are there um they carry nothing else of value on their persons what's bobble the saga's thing can i take it yeah you can totally take it um <laughs> yeah it's it's weird and icky I'm gonna say that Babala Saga's thingy is like like a rotting cloven hoof, Ooh. like like it's been cut off, like at the ankle, but it's very old and icky, and then it's got um like bits of metal kind of like drilled into it, and in kind of like a runic pattern, but they're all different sorts. So it's like gold and silver and iron and all kinds of weird shit. Um, and it's smaller than you think it ought to be. Like, not an adult goat hoof, but like a baby. Very sad. Oh, just awful right to the end. <laughs> Coyote's gonna pick it up with uh, the corner of the blanket he always wears and just like tie it in a little knot with the hoof inside it. Mm -hmm. That's all Coyote wants. Can I? Are there any signs of the um, stone we came here looking for? Sure, um, Valerius. You can give me a give me an, a, a, an investigation check. It's a little bit different. This isn't the people. This is kind of searching the whole area. So you get up, uh, get up on your wings, and, and start looking around. You're looking for that same sort of green energy uh, that the gem gave off. Um, it's either, you know, possibly under floorboards, <laughs> in trees, on top of stones, that sort of thing. Um, looking around the entire facility, really. Would you roll? My foundry is, uh, dying. That's you just roll, you just roll me one? You rolled a... Three. A ten? Uh, with a ten, you don't find it. <clears throat> Alright. I will, um... Return from flight, I guess. Mm -hmm. Everybody's still gathered around the fire, I imagine. Maybe. The, maybe, the, maybe not. Depends on where they are, but you could probably find people if you were looking for them. Um, whoever's still, like, gathered in a group, talking. I'll, uh, I'll mention the stone and ask them if they have any ideas on where it might be. I flew around and I've... I've yet to see it. Does anybody else know where it might, where it might look in the morning? I didn't see anything that looked like it on the hag bodies. 
I don't think they had a lot of pockets you might want to check, but what I saw in them. I'm guessing this isn't the kind of thing that like the hags would just carry around with them since it's the size of a basketball. Or I'm guessing it's probably the size of a basketball like the other one. <clears throat> probably a good guess. I imagine from what I know of this stone, it like helps growth in some way. I don't know. I don't know a lot of it. Uh, like Dylan doesn't. I know just like they use it to grow wine and stuff and they were using it in like the tree in the other place. We can go look for a big tree. I'm really, saying really, really big tree. But they have a lot of goats. Gotta feed those goats somehow, right? But you you mentioned the tree. Do you remember the uprooted area across the water? I do. I do. Why would they why would they rip the tree up though? Where would they have put it? The tree? Yes. Or the stone. The tree. Well weren't they trying to what were they trying to do with the with the tree back on back where Strahd's statue thing was? They're trying to turn into some kind of monster to crush the feather? Think they've done it before? Maybe it's, it's already been done. Either way, um, the center of this whole thing, does it move at all? Like maybe they put it under the center pedestal? As a part the of the altar? Ritual? Like it, right here in the, the middle? Altar? Yeah. Give me a strength check, Torthak. Uh, that is uh, 18. That's a big stone. Doesn't budge. That is a big stone. Need some help there, buddy? I I don't know if they would have been able to move this as well. Oh, right, they were old. I like magic. Magic. True. If you want to try and help, I am not opposed. Is that a worthwhile thing we should do? Does it look like does, does it, it look, look like it's a moving at all? It does not. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like, James, you got some luck for you. Coming your way. So, the evening passes. Oh, I wanted to do my thing. Okay. If that's okay. You may do your thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, okay, so Natalia will approach uh, Valerius privately. I... I... Uh, she's got her arms crossed and she looks very uncomfortable and she never looks you in the eyes since you've ever like she she doesn't look you in the eyes and she says uh, I I just wanted to I mean not that you we've been through a lot and and I you're probably busy, or or you wish to be alone. You you do brood a no, lot. No, I'm not busy. Brood. I I didn't mean it in the oh, that's fine. sense, but also I brood a lot. It's true. I mean, there's nothing wrong with brooding. I mean, someone just died, so. Uh, she's kind of struggling as she kind of like tries to communicate, and she keep like she has everything in her power not to look at you. And she could just kind of like takes a deep breath and like grits her teeth. And she <laughs> says, what in the bloody hell? Okay. What I mean is, and she continues to avoid eye contact. Back at that gaping chasm, Friedrich, 
You must know he does not speak for me. He invaded my mind and said things, and he does not speak for me. I speak for myself. And what he oh. said... He said... I'll just forget what he said, because... Yeah, there are lies. God, oh God, why is this so difficult? She blinks a few times as, like, as if she's having another thought, and she stops for a moment, furrows her brow, and just kind of staring off, she pulls out the coin you gave her, and she looks down at it, and it's square-like and rough, and it's hard to make out what even you carved on it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and her voice just kind of steadies for a moment, and she just glances up you very, very quickly for a moment, and then looks back down at the coin, and she says, It's not perfect. But I like it just the way it is. It's hard to make out what's there. But if you take the time to look, to see past all the rough edges and the crude marks, you can see it. It's been through a lot. I, I can tell. It doesn't need improvement. It doesn't need to change. It knows what it is, and it doesn't pretend to be something it's not. It's even given me a couple splinters, but I, I don't really mind. It's not perfect, but I like it just the way it is. And she puts the coin back under her bracer. That's all I wanted to say. And that's what I wanted you to know. And you must be tired. And I've word vomited enough. And unless you say something, she will she will get out of there. All right, all right. Busy, busy morning. Get some rest. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Very kind words. I'll make another one. I can make it even rougher if you want. I'm not very good at it. She's gone. <laughs> She's gone. I right, come back. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, butter coffee. <laughs> oh, it tastes awful. <laughs> Morning comes. You all complete a long rest. And Coyote and Torthak. When you wake up, you can smell that smelly smell. Oh, God. Oh, no. The smelly smell of... Oh, Frederick. <laughs> Frederick. He's been gassy all night. It's been lingering. He has athlete's foot from being in the swamp all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. No, when you, when you wake, you can... You get the sense of that werewolf beast that you fought before. Only this time there's something a little bit different about it. Even more so. After somehow to you, both of you, his mere presence is now even more overwhelming due to the losses you suffered in the past. I need both of you to make a wisdom say no, excuse me, charisma saving throw. Excellent. I'm gonna roll it as roll back over and go to sleep. Ooh, kill it. <laughs> oh no, with a negative one. Uh sixteen. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh. E 18. Very, very well done. Each of you passes a saving throw, and you do not suffer, suffer the negative effects. Does he stank that bad? 
Is that powerful? It's that it's, powerful. It's that powerful now. That's some heavy musk. Coming up from the forest, making its its way into your area here in the ruins of Berez is Kirill. He he steps forward in wolf form as you were all waking up, wherever you guys are trying to sleep. Uh, did you guys sleep over there where it's safe in the uh, it, it, where where it's safe over there in the in the little stone circle, or did you go back over to the ruins? Hey raiders, welcome. I believe I slept. I imagine I slept in the ruins, or like not the ruins, but the uh, stone circle area where where we're yeah, burning, yeah, yeah. Our, burning our boy. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone, uh, all, all you raiders from Channel 29, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, we appreciate you. We are at, uh, I want to let you all know that we're at 665 <laughs> followers. So uh, if you're not currently following the channel, you can be number 666. Pretty big pretty deal. Cool. Curse of Strahd. It's pretty cool. Pretty big deal. As we're playing through this Curse of Strahd campaign. <laughs> Prouncing up from the woods is this 15 foot long massive beast of a werewolf it steps forward and makes makes its way out into the open field he's in he is in his wolf form right now so as he's uh, as he's pouncing forward bounding towards all of you there are four or five other dire wolves that are falling behind him in his footsteps what are you guys all doing we're trying to gather ashes <laughs> Any wait? No. A um, when when I say what are you gonna do, I mean Cody and Tag, who were woken up by him. What oh, are the so are the rest of you are still kind of like asleep still? Yeah. What are you doing? Like gag real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over to Coyote. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to nudge whoever is closest to me awake. I guess we wake everybody up. Can we smell roughly how far he is? He's he's pretty close. Okay. Like he's on his way. He, he don't have like, that good a stink. Like he's gonna be here within like oh. three hundred feet or so. Oh, he's close. Okay, so you start chucking rocks at everybody. Like, Get up! <laughs> 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 I love. I, I also throw rocks at things. <laughs> <laughs> it's my preferred method of waking up. It's how the most got me every morning. Just. Um, What's happening? Do you do you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't smell a thing. Oh, and and I'll, I'll point across the water because I'm pretty sure that he's coming from that direction. Nice yeah. Blowing. Yeah, he comes across that way. He like. Pounces across the water, hits it all, splashes a little bit as he starts moving fa faster and quicker towards all of you. That's doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. We have company. Yay. <laughs> we have a four legged problem. At the this one. Lawrence muted. How long does it take to cast my Crimson Right? Uh, it's a it's a bonus action, I think. I would uh, very very quickly. She will just like take the take her swords out of her out of their sheaths and just kind of like throw them up. And as they're being thrown up, she'll like cut her hands and like do her thing. And I will impress my, crim my crimson right. Uh, you do so, and moving forward it, it is. Kiro continues to move closer. He gets within like a hundred feet or so, and he starts to slow down a little bit, kind of right. galloping to a, a, a small trot as he gets closer. Uh, you guys all kind of like rouse to your feet, waking up for the first time to get a sense of it. You see the the beast as he moves forward, um, and he ships out of his wolf form and into into his normal. Humanoid, humanoid form that you guys have seen before. The dark black hair, the strong goatee, ripped. He's naked underneath that shirt, and he steps Ooh. up to all of you and says, Well, if it ain't my favorite adventurers. 
that a cowboy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Changing it up. I didn't like the last accent, so I'm doing this one. <laughs> so I get this been a spit bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know how this goes when there are two cowboys in one town. Mm, it ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, hold up. I Let spread away. My... I spread out. <laughs> Let me get my battle armor right here. There we go. <laughs> mm. Looks like y'all are one short. What happened? I knew you were going to say this. <laughs> I, I think you can that. smell damn well what happened. <laughs> yeah, right? Aren't you eight short? Nine? Ooh. Wait, how tall is he? Shots fired. I bet he's short. I bet he's short. I bet he's short. He's like 6'5". He's, I gotta he's be tall. easy. I'm 9'7". You are a bird. A tall one, baby. A tall you are 4'6". I'm towering this bird. man. Big bird, that's right. I'm big bird, my guy. Well, well. I'm sorry for your loss. Insight check. <laughs> you can make it. He's not sorry. He's not. Are you serious? Do you really think? <laughs> it's like a 14. He's not sorry. I knew it. <laughs> I smell a liar. smell a liar. <laughs> like, like, you liar are, in you here. Fucking liar. <laughs> smell athlete's foot and lies in here. <laughs> uh, we hear uh, we, we we felt y'all coming into the woods uh, about a day and a half ago now, and uh, I just thought I'd come by and offer my condolences and uh, let you know I was leaving out, unless uh, y'all got something going on. How, how are y'all doing? I can see... Y'all must have left Irene at the house. There's not much of your fucking business where we left her. Too right, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Why this voice is changing? <laughs> no, he's Australian. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> well, it ain't matter. She ain't here, and I'm heading out. <sighs> Listen, I actually have got something for all y'all. There is a. Kind of looks over towards the ruins of Berez and looks at that big empty spot. <laughs> Says. Can I... I'm gonna say something probably honest to y'all for the first time. Insight check. I was out here <laughs> looking I around. I trust you believe that uh, statement. Maybe for the first time. Came out here because our lord and master had aspirations for a certain stone. And, uh, I found it. But, unfortunately, I can't exactly get to it. It's a little hard to reach, if you know what I'm saying. Not and, much everything I reach for, I don't know what. It sounds like Short King energy <laughs> that you got there. Yeah. You right, look up right. when you talk to me, I can't hear you from down there. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, a. Uh, kind of hard to get close without getting hurt. There is a, uh, well, I, for lack of a better term, it's a it's a building running around out there. And I believe the stone's inside, and, uh, well, it needs quite a bit of magic if you're going to get in. So, uh, before I, I guess, give up, not really looking to lose any more of my friends. I thought I'd ask if y'all want some help with the whole project. And, uh... I'll let you take everything inside, which I believe to be considerable value. 
And uh, I'll just take the gem for myself. And have everything else. I'm sorry. Did he say it took magic to get in? Oh, I glance is. around at these martial classes real quick. <laughs> no doubt we can help here. I ain't got none of that yet. <laughs> no doubt. Looks wow. like it took some sticks or some nice rocks. Yeah. Not, no. A little bit of brute force, maybe? Look, I'm not going to lie. With the extra firepower, we might be able to just overwhelm the thing. Wow. You Are you asking for... Uh, is, that, is that what's happening right now? Is that what this has come to? Can Look, I can... Uh, I mean, yeah. Trying to... That's all I want is the stone. It's a gift. For my lord. And, uh... You can have everything else. All everything that's in that building can be yours. I'll help you. So will my boys. And, uh... He looks at... He looks at Tag and Coyote... Really strongly, he says. You do that for me, and uh, I won't go home for a while. Go on. Like I said, we're going to talk about it. Go on. He has a home? Terrorizing our people, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> How far away do we have to move for him not to hear us? I don't know, like... Do we like huddle? 50 feet. You guys can just... You, you just huddle up. He can't hear you. It's fine. Oh, man, thank God. I'll make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> when he can't hear us, when I talk the most trash. I'm into the huddle and, like, and Natalia is like, All right, so I go for the head, right? Who's going for the, the legs? I can't reach his legs. I mean, I definitely don't trust his bitch ass, but... Trying to help him, Coyote? I don't know. I I think this might work in our favor. But we we won't get the stone. We will get the stone. Is she looking for the same stone? I can steal it. There will be no reason to steal that. I can swap. I can replicate it. He's he's too dumb to know difference. No point in having a difference. You guys trying to trying to throw hands? After? Sorry. D- I like the way you think. Mm. I like the way you think. I do believe he'll show us some interest in. I don't believe he's going to let us walk away with whatever we want, though. Definitely not. But he doesn't have enough power to take it on his own. I we don't know where it is about him. Frederick. What do you... Opinions? <laughs> not over here? <laughs> Frederick has not been talking this whole time. I obviously. can tell. <laughs> I'm down for whatever, I suppose. Are you fine over there? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, normally, Frederick, you're obnoxiously loud and it's hard to get you to stop talking. What happened? Like, I know, like, we lost a friend, but... Gotta... I mean, this is Barovia. We gotta move on. I... I'm just thinking about stuff, I guess. All right, you you guys... Let's, let's do whatever. I'll just... I'll follow your lead. We kind of need your head in this game if we're going to do what we're thinking about doing. You're the only one who can cast magic. Hey. I mean, I, to tell you. I, I still have some spells. I, I don't know if they'll work on 
whatever he's talking about that we, we could try, I suppose. No, we're not using no magic to help this guy. Are you serious? We got to save that during the raid. So you want to tell him I don't have any spells that could maybe dispel it? Frederick, as long as he knows you're out of spell slots. We just slept. He doesn't know that. You stayed up on guard duty all night. That's why you're not talking. That's why you feel bad. <laughs> so I look like what you do. Frederick does wow. look like he didn't sleep, <laughs> sleep very well. His eyes are baggy and his like his normally bright green eyes are very dark right now. Nice. So you're already playing the part. I like it. Team it, player. It wasn't intentional, but that was what happened anyways. Uh, we will take it. I'll take I, that. Sure. However you want to do it. We have to try the brute force measure. He said he said we might be able to get through a brute force. Maybe. I have a spell that can help with that. I mean. I mean. I have plenty of those actually. So so the plan, wrap this up. We're going with him to help with magical thingy. We don't have magic. It's obvious if you looked. He said he said brute force was an option. With enough firepower. So we're going to help him with firepower. firepower. We can overpower it. That's right. So we firepower through, get inside, and then we attack? Well, Are we going to find what we need and then attack? We might have to attack what we're trying to get inside of. Well, I mean, yeah. I know that. But, but we, we want to we wear it out wait. on whatever it is. Yes, we need to wait until the odds are more in our favor. All right. Should Who we knows? have like maybe should we have like a word? There, maybe he won't survive. Should we have like a code word for this? We just like yell out a word when we when we strike. I think that's a good idea. Percival. The the word's Percival. That could be odd. I don't know. I'm not really. Whatever you think. Be well, fine. If somebody asks us about it, do we just okay? If we, if we call him Percy every other time, but if we say well, I Percival, assume we'd be shouting it. Probably. I you know, don't don't listen to me. I'm not really thinking right now. Just just go with. I I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, Percy it is. Percy it is. Okay. What that you want to tell him we'll do it so I don't have to throw up on him? Yeah, good. Yeah. You want it? All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll we'll turn around. We'll break a huddle. Yeah, break break huddle. Break. break. <laughs> <laughs> break. <laughs> and I will walk up to him. All right. He's just sitting there. Like, well, y'all made a decision. I'll just stare him in the eye and reach a hand out to shake his. He'll he'll shake it back. We'll give this one more go then. One last time. All righty. Hey, hard track, y'all come on this way. And he shifts back into where we'll form and starts to prounce away. Prounce? Prounce. Mm-hmm. prounce. He Erase prances him. and pounces at the same time. Yep. Well, that's mighty adorable. Mm-hmm. I follow suit. Oh my god. <laughs> I prounce. <laughs> You're prouncing? <laughs> Who's trying to race, bro? I'm so fast. We all race it. Coyote is not shifting all the way. They're just going to run. <laughs> you start, You guys all start heading out that way, and you head head out into the woods. Um, it's not long as, as you're following Kirill out this direction um, until you find out, you find exactly what Kirill was talking about. There is a massive path that has been cut through the swamp, probably 30 feet wide. Or so, where all the brush and swamp and all the undergrowth has been disturbed. As if a 
landslide has moved through this area. All the waters like kind of come into and made this like small little river path um, where where the water is extra mucky and stuff. Kiro gets on one side of it and starts to follow it um, and going along. But there is this very obvious that was something big and large has been moving through this space. Um, what do you guys do? Do I see any sign of other wolves? There's there are four other wolves that were traveling with Kirill. Okay. Is there? I mean, like, how many massive monsters could there be in Barovia? Is there any way I could try and like? Does it look like the same rough size as the patch that was missing? Yeah, and Kirill told you that the house was moving. Yeah, it's a whole house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. God. Like Baba Yaga's house, it's got like little chicken feet. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's get to that. You get about 150 feet away from it. Kirill comes out of form, turns into his regular self. He says, "Ah, there it is." And and like he doesn't he doesn't seem to be real quiet about it or anything like that. But he just says, "There she is." And you look over and you see what you're looking at now. Um, on on the screen, you see this like set of roots that have like pulled up with the earth itself is walking around on on the roots themselves, and they're pulling through the swamp. On top of it is literally a little house that is like that is moving around, and like you can see, like there's a light in the doorway, and it seems to be moving around as if that's the single eye that it has, and it starts to move around, and it's just walking along. Kiro pulls up and like he like he tells y'all to stop. He's like, "Oh, best I can tell, it can't really hear us, so don't gotta worry about that." But the second you get too close, it starts to get real aggressive. What does it seem to have at its disposal? Well, if you get close to it, what'll happen is it'll start to. Smack the hell out of you with its roots. And then it will sit on you if you get too close. We lost one that way. I look. Do I see any remains of him stuck under the house? Uh, make a perception check. <gasps> so the whole light in the house just like moves around? Yeah. It's like it's looking around. Oh, no. That's a nine. <laughs> oh, it's like Can't Monster say. House. Can't really see anything yeah. going on. Like it, it skitters like around a tree, and like you can see it, like po- it pokes its head around, like it's looking, skitters. and then continues to move. You sure it's not prancing? Yeah, I am, Max. <laughs> it's just it's like, skittering. I don't like the visual because it's like it's like a little spider legs, little root spider. Yeah. Hmm. Look, we tried to. We try did our best to try to kind of hit it and knock it down, but it's just got it's just so strong. And it doesn't seem to It's tough. But it is Does it does it regrow? Overnight, for sure. I don't think it does so in the moment. But it might. Look anywhere. We could set up a, a trap of some kind. Does it have a path it follows? Doesn't seem to be. It acts like it's hiding from something. I don't really know what's going on. But it'll sit down every now and then, and it doesn't move for a while. Hard to say. But you might be able to, if you get ahead of it. Look, we're, we're as close to it as we are now, and it doesn't even see us. Can't hear us, can't nothing. So you watch. Woohoo! He yells at it, nothing happens. I don't hmm. suppose there's anybody in that house. Might have killed who's supposed to be the opposite, the uh, occupants there. Oh, yeah, y'all definitely did. Look, at this point, the way I understand it, there are two options. We can break the house down, or we can get the stone out of it. I have reason to believe that the stone's what's keeping it alive. 
Do I see the glow from the stone? Is that is it just like in the middle where the not from here? Is? Not, not from, from here. Do you, does he know? Do you know where the stone might be located? Well, I'm guessing it's inside the walking house. <laughs> but where? <laughs> You think if I knew where it was inside that I'd be out here looking for it still? So you've gotten inside. No, I have it. That's why I don't have it. Okay, just saying. This guy. It skitters off super fast further into the woods. It's like, God damn it! And starts running <laughs> after it. <laughs> Alright, well he runs after it. I go over to Freddy. Freddy, do you have mold earth? Oh. Oh, dude, I thought you I thought you you took mud off of us or something. I thought it might have been mold. That was digitation. Uh, this guy took it took a while. It's much harder. <laughs> it's going to be hard to do anything to that with digitation. I'm not going to lie. Freddie, Freddy, do we have any way to make a large hole fast? <laughs> That's a fantastic question. Is this... I like making holes. Let me find out. <laughs> Does this count as an evil plant creature? Yeah, bonuses <laughs> to evil plant creatures. Yeah, bonuses. <laughs> that that your favorite it, is, it is a construct. So no, it does not. The bib- biggest mimic I've ever seen in my life. No, somebody's got a staff that is bad against plants. Nah. So it mm. just makes it my friend until yeah. I do something mean to it. Yeah, no, not this. <laughs> Fine. All right. So I've got. He switches out sticks. Lightning. And I've got greater invisibility. So if it can't see me while I'm invisible, that might be a good way to get in and just yoink the stone out. Sure. And if I do it now, Kirill won't be able to see me go invisible, probably. Did run off. But how are you going to get in the house? Wings. Well, the door is. I imagine the door doesn't just open. I don't know. Your guess is good as mine on that one. Yeah, but he didn't know much either. Useless. Maybe if we can blast the door open, then I'll try and go inside. Oh. Freddy stays invisible. Ah, uh, dude. Wouldn't he just smell you? The house. Oh, Kirill. I had the house. The house. The house, the house, the house the is house like. You? That's a Frederick if I've ever smelt one. <laughs> it smells really bad, apparently. Who comes through my door? <laughs> uh. I'd say we could distract him by fighting the house, but I don't. Uh, don't like the odds if we're going to fight the house and Kirill. I mean, if the invisibility goes well, I take the stone out. We don't have to yeah. fight the house. We just jump on him. Yeah, if we if we needed to distract him from you doing the thing. But uh, you gonna, are you going to try the thing, Friedrich? Seems like we're undecided. Could be could be pretty dangerous. We don't know what this house has in store, and it's magical. Maybe we should start fighting it and see then. That'd probably be a good idea. You could, you could go invisible middle of the fight. Oh, well, no one's looking. And no one's looking. And then, you know, a couple turns go by. Nobody knows the difference. Get a little like more it. information. See if we can blast that door open and then we'll go from there. See yeah, if we see can if let Kirill get re- roughed up a little bit first. I mean, yeah. I mean, do you want to try and distract it, distract the house, and you just like non-violently and you see if you can get in there before we start throwing punches last time I did that I think I got thrown down a hole I'm still real fuzzy on that it was rough (laughs) (laughs) I think according to him if you get close at all the house is going to start fighting you regardless yeah that's what it seems so I think violence is the only answer until I take the stone out (laughs) always always is Just make sure he gets hurt first. Push Carol in the white. Got it. 
Oh no, I tripped. My athletics, a natural one. <laughs> and oh, I try to kick no. the house, and instead I kick you toward the house. Oh no. <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> Alright, well let's go let's go catch up before he before he gets any let's of the wires. Or... Alright, this mm -hmm. seems a terrible enough plan. Let's do it. <laughs> What I'm talking about. So if I understand the plan correctly, <laughs> we are Here's going to. I hope someone does. Well, if I understand the plan correctly, we're going to run up with Kirill and his wolves up yes. on the house. Uh huh. Then Friedrich, you're going to try to get inside the house and take the stone out. We're going to pretend yeah. to gank the house, but uh -huh. in actuality, we're just trying to get the door open uh -huh. and let. Well, take some of the slaughtering. Well, I don't think you should do it immediately. Yeah, not immediately. Yeah, yeah. okay. We're gonna blast. The we'll door give it a little bit. Get a little bit of information. See what it does. See if it's trapped. Maybe let some of those wolves die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna okay. go a couple rounds with the house. Yeah. See what we're working with. I'm gonna tell him that I'm a terrible caster, and I'm hoping he'll believe me. Worst case scenario, we run. How are we supposed to blast the door open? Okay. Shatter. Eldritch Blast. Just kidding, didn't take it. This is going to be fun. We're going to go to break real quick. <laughs> like, oh, no. Um, because I I wasn't necessarily... I, I didn't think this would be the plan. And I had I had two ideas <laughs> that you guys that I thought you guys might do. You're you not either? doing either of them. And D &D, you baby. should have known we were going to do a mystery dumb third thing. <laughs> I oh, should no. have. I should have. Always well, expect the unexpected. I, I had a mystery dumb third thing that I thought you guys might do, which was the trap thing. I was like, they're going to lead him to the hole and knock him down the hole. And that's how they're going to do it. Um, that was my mystery dumb third thing. So we it sounds like we're just I like that idea. We're going to be, like we're going to be right back. So y'all hang out with oh, us no. for one second. I'm going to figure some stuff out and uh, we'll be right back and we'll see how this goes. So we botched it already. Yeah. Oh, thanks boy. for joining us. <laughs> Curse Alrighty, it did take a turn. So we are we are beginning uh, this particular. Uh, first of all, thank you everyone for joining us. We're back from our break. Um, we're going to start uh, by getting into this as we are uh, approaching the hut. Um, the the hut is walking creepily, using its roots to, to make its way through the swamp. As it does, you can see this is little kind of yellow light inside that is looking around, kind of looking throughout the space. Um, as you all begin to slowly surround it, you're kind of moving with it and getting into position where you want to be. Everyone is currently more than 120 feet away from the creeping hut itself as you're starting to move around this space. So as we do, we're going to start by rolling initiative. Um, and so as we do that, that's going. I'm going to start with 25 to 20. Wait, wait, I need to 21. roll. 21 for Friedrich. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. uh, 15 to 20. 16. 16? Yep. All right. 10 to 15. 13. 13 for Natalia. You guys did not roll good initiative. I've heard. <laughs> Getting uh, worse better right now. 5 to 10? Oh. True. I think I've rolled a nat 20 on like the last two times we've rolled initiative. And this is the first time I haven't rolled well. 5 to 10? Oh, Lucky. six. What'd you roll? A six. Okay, and that's it? Yep. Oh my god, James, what happened? I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a three? Well, I rolled a total of a three. What'd you roll, Coyote? I had 16. 16? Okay. Yeah. 
and then tag. Alright, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Perfect. <coughs> Alrighty. Top of the round. The hut has not recognized any of you yet. Friedrich, we begin with you. You have initiative. What do you do? <clears throat> All right. This hut's about to get it. So, in accordance to the plan, Friedrich's going to go ahead and cast Shatter at second level. Uh, centered on, like, the doorway of the hut. Try and blow it open. Okay. You do so, and it makes a saving throw, right? Uh, it should. I think it's a DC 15 con save. It's probably great at those. It is super great at con, but it only rolled an 8, so that is a total of a 13. Sweet. Uh, then it will take... Ooh. Why does it do 3? Wow. Is it 3? Oh, no. Yeah, it is 3. Sweet. 22 damage. 22 points of damage. And as it does, it blows that door open. Just... Smashing that to bits as you as you smash this creature. As it does, it stops, plants its roots, and starts to search around, looking around the entire space. I was going to ask if it noticed us. Uh, it does. It notices that something happened. It just got hit. It has stopped. The roots start to kind of, kind of like mangle up in the air like tentacles. It starts to look around, and it it, it, it is searching, but it does not see anything yet. Is it karate stance? <laughs> Octo Dad Karate. Yeah, that's your action movement. Uh, all right. So that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. I'm comfortably far. Perfect. How f what's the range on Shatter? 120 feet. Yeah. Nice. I know, right? That's pretty freaking sweet. How convenient. Uh, it is convenient. <laughs> um. All right. Oh my! I was wrong. It was 60 it's, feet. I would say it's 60. So I would be 60 feet away from it if that's He right. ran in there. All right, so you move in there. You are now 60. Well, these are 15-foot squares. Uh, place yourself where you want to be. Um, we'll say you get in there. soldier. Um, as you get in there, you're 60 feet away. Uh, the hut trains its eye upon you as you move into your space. Um, that's the that takes your movement to get to that point. That's your action. That's where you are. Bonus action? Uh, not right now. Okay. Um, all right, so that will end your turn, Friedrich. That'll bring us on to the direwolves. The direwolves have been told to circle the hut and be prepared if it starts to look good. So they will all kind of move around in a circle in a kind of circular pattern, um, moving around, getting a making sure it can't run away, but making sure they're 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 still 120, 130 foot away preparing to see if things start to look good that they're going to get in there and do some things uh coyote they're all holding dash actions is what they're doing as they circle this hut coyote this is a great time to be a monk don't have many ranged things for monks <laughs> Does 45 movement get me over where Friedrich is? Yeah, so you're, you are you can get onto the map. Um, 45 feet of movement, that gets you about... You are roughly... At this point, we're going to just use the map for, for reference. That puts you about okay. 75 feet away from the hut, and you're within 10 or 15 feet of Friedrich. For all intents and purposes, you're within melee of him. Suspicious how you said that. Flurry of blows. <laughs> I throw Friedrich's dead body at it and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll now. <laughs> what would you like to do? This thing sees the two of you now and kind of like comes back up onto its feet, gets a little taller, and it like starts looking around at you. About how tall, if you don't mind me asking. Like 40, 50 feet at its max height. Um, the bottom of it's probably 10 to 20 feet off the ground. Like two stories, you think? <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's like one story, two story. It can move within that whole kind of 
realm, depending on how far away it is and how high it is on its roots. Okay, dangerous. Okay, I guess Cody will will hold action and just prepare to protect Friedrich should anything happen. Okay. This is the main part of our plan. <laughs> okay. Well, then that wins your turn. Um, Kirill has engaged this thing before. He steps forward 30 feet, so he gets into a place. You got he, he steps forward 15 feet. You guys all see the house shift. Look at him, and it almost looks like the whole house goes, ah! <laughs> and, like, freaks out a little bit as it sees him. He's going to launch three Eldritch Blasts at the house all at once and try to uh, do some damage to it as per the plan. Um, one of his attacks hits... Uh, and he would have also hexed the house too. So bonus action hex um, rolls his damage as one of those hits, and he does a total of uh, eighteen damage to the house. As you guys just see this 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 purple energy of lit Ravenloft, similar to what you've seen go into Natalia's talisman comes flying out they all hit but only one of them actually hits the house itself they all kind of hit roots and other things and do no damage that this one finds a window shatters it and it goes through uh then he's gonna back up and get back out of range (laughs) uh natalia okay that's 15 feet sure I guess I'm going to hack at the roots. Um, my right damage is flame right now. Okay. So maybe that will help uh, in addition to. I don't know. Let me go check the stat block. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Stat block. Right, oh, so, uh, fire damage. She is going to take out her flaming shots because they're on fire now. And, uh, and she's just going to kind of, like, maneuver around this this very long root and just kind of, like, sliding, cutting underneath it. I'm just going to make her attacks. We'll see what happens here. All right, go ahead and roll those attacks. It's a 10. A 10 misses. Really? A giant house? You hit it, but it just doesn't... Do- it doesn't okay, do enough damage. Of the house. I have, like I have, you, I have luck. I'm gonna go use ahead. Luck. Please go ahead and roll that luck. It, it it does hit. It's just the blade. Like as you hit it, it just like k- kicks off to the side, and unfortunately, just doesn't do any damage to it. Thirteen. Same deal. Misses. No damage. Misses. Yeah. You are you go and hit it. You hit a knot as your blade cuts into the cuts into the root itself. It kind of kicks off to the sides. You just scrape a little bit of bark off. No actual damage done. 26? That one hits harder. As you come down across <laughs> of it, there's some black ichor that comes out of it. Go ahead and roll the damage on that. I'm going to roll for my bonus one. Okay, 24. That will hit as well. Okay. No problem. Great. That is... 25. 25. Damn. <clears throat> and it's fire damage. Um, the fire damage does not do anything special. Um, but okay. you do you do manage to, like, you hack, and then you come in perfectly with the other side, and this large wedge gets cut out of it, and you see the r- root lift up like a, like, a, like a kraken's tentacles that comes up trying to get away from you. Um, that ends your turn, Natalia, unless you want to move. Yeah, I want to move back. <laughs> Okay. Um, as you move, you uh, you move 15 feet forward, you move 15 feet back. Um, that will end your turn. Valerius. Um, I'll shoot an arrow at it. You get within 120 feet. You shoot it. Go ahead and roll to hit. You have, you have, mm, 
I don't know what the range you, is for this. You do not have people within five feet of it. What'd you roll to hit? Blank uh, eyes. like a 21? That hits, no problem. Um, actually... I would say you do have people within five feet of it, because Coyote and um, Coyote and Friedrich are both within melee range of it. What? So I would say that <laughs> they do count as within. I, I would say they do trigger sneak attack. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! You should see the reach on this thing. It is unsafe. <laughs> oh, no. It's an unsafe rage. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's one. So that's five, eight, six, fourteen damage of magical damage. Fourteen damage to this creature, um, or to this construct. As you just, it just sinks deep into this into the construct's um body. Just cling. It's just, it's doing damage. Slowly but surely, but this thing is pretty strong. Pretty strong. I imagine. Mm -hmm. Circling. All right. Ending. Ending turn. Okay. That'll end your turn. That brings around to the hut. The hut is going to move uh, twenty feet towards um, everyone over there, uh, or it's going to move. I would say like 10 feet towards Kirill and Natalia so that it can kind of have all of you sort of in range. Uh, then it's going to, so it's going to take, come closer to where it saw Kirill and Natalia come out who did damage to it and move over that direction and sees the wolf, Kirill, Natalia, Friedrich, Coyote are all within range. Um, <laughs> and then it's going to uh, reach out with uh, a rock and throw that uh, in the direction of uh, Friedrich and and um, Friedrich and Coyote. So it, one of the roots reaches down, grabs a boulder, and throws it at the two of you. Um, Coyote, you were planning to protect him, so I'll say this attack is directed towards you. Does a natural twenty hit? Oh my god! Well, Add that to the smash cut. You. <laughs> You take you take forty bludgeoning damage as it hits you right square in the oh, chest. Lord. Bam! With the crit, it still up. Hits you straight square in the chest. You go Does flying. Does count as a missile? It is a missile. <laughs> she better catch it. It is a missile. Because I have deflect missile. <laughs> How does that work with a rock? We're about to find out. It's a missile. It's a missile. How does that work? Uh, uh, Coyote just uh, takes all of the staffs in his possession and just hits it like a like a bat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Batter up! The ultimate stick. I, I believe there's something you have to roll. Um, let me go look. Deflect missiles. Uh, when you take... When you get... When you when you use... You can use your action to deflect or, deflect or catch the missile when you're hit by a ranged weapon attack. Um... The damage you take is reduced by 1d10 plus your dex plus your monk level. If you do it to zero, you catch it. So, roll a d10, uh, and then you may add your dexterity and monk level to it. So, for you, that would be seven and, like, three. Oh. Yeah? That's what, uh, yeah. So, you add ten to that. Uh, you reduce the total damage by uh, 11... And it still hits you, but unfortunately you don't. So you take a total of um, twenty nine points of damage instead. But it's still and and like you don't, you don't get knocked to the ground all the way. You catch it like both hands, and you, it still hits you. It scratches up your chest, hits you in the shoulder. You push it on, uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't do as much damage as possible, but it still does damage. Do a really cool backflip. Awesome. Really Just really anime. It's really super cool. Um, <clears throat> According to plan. <laughs> yes, and then it's going to move a little bit closer towards Kirill and Natalia, distance itself, getting away from the two of you, Friedrich and um, Coyote, and it's going to make two attacks against Natalia and Kirill. The oh, first one to yeah. Natalia does a does a twenty-seven hit. 
I. Wow. No. The next one not. goes against Kirill. Next one goes to Kirill. It's a 17. That exactly hits his armor class. Um, Natalia, you're going to take some damage. 38 points of bludgeoning damage as the root comes across and slaps you across the chest. Kirill is going to take uh, not as much. 26 points of bludgeoning damage as it hits him across the skull. And that will end the that will end the creeping hut's turn. Uh, that brings us around to tag. Oh lord! Uh-huh. It, this right, thing like hits that. hard. All right, let's get in this house. This we're not playing around anymore. Let's get in the house. It only moves. Hard. So it only moved Friedrich and uh, Friedrich and Cody. It only moved thirty feet away from you. So all of you that are over here. Oh, sorry. Um. What is happening? Uh, you're you're only like here. It didn't actually move that far away from you. Let's get some references, reference points. Ooh, that curse. Ooh, a curse. A curse. We need um, that. Thank you. Let's say. Uh, let's do something that's fun and fair. We will say that the creeping hut is now vulnerable to fire damage because that does make sense. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that we will add the vulnerability of fire yes. to the to the creeping hut. So, thank you, Cold Heart, for your for your curse. Everyone knows there's still blessings out there. Hasn't been done yet. Here we go. Tag. So, the door is wide open. Mm-hmm. The door is wide open. It probably is much safer. Than that. Maybe. Uh-oh. Okay. Who knows? <laughs> well, I can't see what's happening on the backside. Uh, can I try and run up one of the arms? Just go into a rage and try and scale the house. You're trying to get. I I'm will. To I will. Onto the house. I will allow. If you get. If you use your your entire turn to okay. get. All the way up there, I will say you can get. You might be able to get all the way to the house. Is that is that appropriate? I'm ready for it. All right, give me an athletics check or an acrobatics, your choice. As you're rage. running up this, um, like so, you rage, you go crazy, you shift, you transform, you turn up. As you're running up this route, not difficult, but okay. That is a total of a 20. Total of a 20. It, it is like some Avengers stuff as you run up this route. It's moving with it, kind of pulling up. You can see the, the moss dripping down and, and the mud as it pulls up. You run along all the way up to it. You kept, you jump all the way over there and your claws dig into the side of the building. You catch yourself. Your fingers literally go through the wood. You hold yourself. You grab a stud. You are directly adjacent uh, to the house after running up this, blam! Right there. I, I look down at Frederick and I'm. Let's go. This is not good. <laughs> it's a good I'm on a house. Move. Why oh. did you get in there? Help! <laughs> I was gonna eat it. What are you oh, doing? No, not again. It's like a cat when it gets somewhere it shouldn't be and then it looks at you like. I, I don't know what happened. You... How do I get down? Oh. It's on top of the bookshelf, like help. Amazing, perfect. I don't know what to do now? Um, I'm here. I love it. I love it. All right. So top of the round, uh, we 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 get all the way back up to the front. This creeping house starts to look around, and it does like a a, a shake move, and it kind of just tries to shake everything that's on it or in it out of the house. Um, I need for uh, Torthak. I need you to make a dexterity save and throw it a hold on. Not great at those. You have advantage though. Yeah, you are, bro. That's Ooh. a total of a twenty. Total of a twenty. Amazing. Really so well. you, you guys all there. see it. It actually like it kind of like picks up and like turns itself. So it's kind of like shake Torthag off, and it just doesn't. It can't. He holds on tight, uh, and that's where he is. I make stronger eye contact with Frederick. <laughs> Can I help? Let's go. Speaking of Frederick, it's his turn. What are you doing, my bard man? 
Right. So these wolves are all around, right? Mm-hmm. Are they? They're probably not looking at me. They're probably looking at the house because they're they're looking for a good opportunity, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do I need to stealth to try and cast greater invisibility and not be noticed doing it, or by the wolves? Yeah. Because I'm trying to make sure none of them see it. Make a stealth check for me, Friedrich. Okay. Alright, everyone pray. Ah. <laughs> you feel All stealthed. Right. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Alright. You, you feel hidden. Oh, I do have luck. Do it again. Come on. You do have luck. I can't take another one of these boulders, oh. my dude. <laughs> Better. You feel hidden. I'm sure oh, I do. Oh, hidden. We upgraded. <laughs> All right. Friedrich is going to crouch behind Coyote and their boulder <laughs> <laughs> and cast greater invisibility. All right. Action greater invisibility. You are. You disappear from out into nothingness now what all right so now i have 30 feet of movement mm -hmm. so i'll advance you get halfway yeah, you you begin start you 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 begin making your way to towards the hut i will say at this point you're kind of looking you're, you're like just just for thematic purposes you're looking for an entryway into this hut it's moving you're moving you're invisible floating around it um, kind of like flying, kind of hovering, looking for a place. On your next turn, you should be able to get inside, provided you can find an opening. Yeah? I'm hanging on, yeah. pointing at the open door. Yeah, the door that I blasted open. Yeah. All right, so that'll end your turn, Frigic. Um That'll bring you around to the dire wolves' turn. Uh, these dire wolves are going to continue to do what they've done, and they're going to kind of continue to circle around in 120-foot radius. This one, it has walked towards... And so it's going to come up and start biting into it. It's it, it's going. It hasn't been hit yet. It's going to take. Go ahead and take an attack, um, and try to hurt this creature. I can hear something's happening on the stream. We've been um, blessed. We've been blessed. Um, this wolf is not the blessed. You know what? You know what? With the blessing, I'm going to say no. that all these wolves start to make their way in, uh, and oh, they yeah, they yeah. they will join the fray. At this point, seeing an opportunity uh, with Kirill, and that Kirill is going to join the fray as well and do everything to the best of his ability too. They are seeing an opportunity that they didn't have before to fully take down this house. All of them are going to make their way in and start making their attacks. So that's going to be a total of um, so it's going to be twenty-two for the first wolf, and the other three are going to make their attacks as well, all with advantage because of pack tactics. Ooh, there's uh, that's a nat 20 gonna, in there. There is a nat 20 in there, and the other attack does hit. One attack, unfortunately, does miss with a 14. So three attacks hit from these wolves. Uh, one of them is a crit. And so the, the, the giant construct takes a total of 35 points of damage from these wolves. As they come up and they start ripping into it. And if anything, more than anything, they're kind of like holding it back in place. It almost like feels like it's getting kind of disjointed um, as it's going through and trying to trying to do this thing. So they take 35 points of damage. Um, that will end uh, their turn and brings around to Coyote. Cool, cool, cool. So Coyote has knows that Frederick is gone to do the thing. Um, so now what if what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hmm. It's gone. Can I make it to one of the legs? Uh yeah, no problem. If you were to move to this one, you could do that. Oh, but can I survive a hit if I, you know? It's true, you did get hit already, didn't you? I did get hit. It threw a, threw a whole ass boulder at me. It just... <laughs> 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 but I 
So we have ranged attack. So okay, um... Doing what may be a mistake, he's gonna bite at, bite at the leg of this house. All right, roll to hit. You got your, you got both your attacks and your bonus action stuff. All kinds of fun stuff. It was nice knowing you. Like you. <laughs> if this is the dumb shit I go out doing, this is the dumb shit I go out doing. Tag would be happy. Eat Eat tag is happy. <laughs> Do this it. This is in, in honor of Percival. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Does that count as an arm strike? Just both of those biting it. Yeah. Long tooth shifting. Oh, yeah, you shifting. get you get two attacks. Both of them on um, yeah, both of them on arm strikes. Okay. And you can take a third of your bonus action if you wish. Okay, that's a four. An eleven unfortunately misses. Twenty three. Twenty three hits, no problem. Good. Yeah, let's just do a third. Hey, 25. Yeah, 25 hits as well. Go ahead and roll damage for two of those. There we go. Alright. So, 11 damage for the two of those. Oh, and another one? No, 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 it just came oh, out late. There. Sorry, yeah. All right, so you come up, you're biting into it. That's action, bonus action, movement. Is that in your turn, Cody? And my life, probably, yep. Maybe, we'll <laughs> find out. Uh, that's going to bring us around to Kirill. Uh, Kirill has already hexed this creature. Um, he got, oh, he got hit with a spell, so he's going to roll his constitution saving throw and save, no problem. Um, so he's going to go ahead... And, um, I think what he's going to do is back the hell up and throw some more Elgic Blast, because that's what Kiro would do. He's going to do that and throw those three out at the, at the hut. Um, uh, he, so he hits with all three attacks, 17, 7, and 15 naturally. All three of those hit. And he does a total of 24 and 17, 31 points of damage with those three hits. As you guys see, all of this purple energy come out again, just pop, pop, pop. And the whole thing kind of uh, turns and lands back in place as it gets smashed by these hits. Natalia, you've been worked. What are you doing? Um, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Run away? Um, well, is, is this route next to me already in range? Yep. Okay. Currently, the way this works is if you're on the board, you're in range. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I'll attack this, this, uh, this leg. Did you say again. rude? <laughs> Max was like a free root. All right, go ahead and attack. Or I guess root would be more proper. Maybe yeah. Proper. Hey, go ahead. Go for it. 18? 18 hits. No problem. Oh, that was almost a nat one. It almost was. Uh, that's a dirty 20. That hits as well. And... Do, 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 do. That is a 20, lot. 25 again. I can't even see. Okay, I'll just take your word for it. And, um, and then I am going to, I would like to be on the house so that I won't get hit again. Can I, can I use my movement? Yeah, you got point? enough, you got enough movement to make it up that, make it up that route. You're right there if you want to climb up it. And like, so you, as you climb up, you're like, blam, 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 like slicing into it as you run up. Yes. Yeah, make an athletics or acrobatics Making check. Making a flaming trail behind me with my shashkas. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I am amazing yeah. at acrobatics. This is what I was trained for. That's right. It is It is vulnerable to fire damage now. It takes an extra bit of right damage. Ten? <laughs> That's incredible. It's plenty. It's plenty. For this. Uh, you make it all the way up? No problem. Seven. 
Valerius. Um, do I still have my bonus action? Uh, no, that was Rhino. Okay, making sure. Valerius. Uh, yeah. I'll fly, I'll fly in. Okay. Uh, 100 feet away. Okay. And so I'll fly in. Um, like, I won't actually make it. But I'll be a little bit, I'll be like, like 80 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. How long does his legs look? Long. Yeah, that's like, long. 80 feet in the air, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know if they look, if they look long. I don't know if I want to be 80 feet in the air. Um, I'm going to go 30 feet in the air. I'll okay. Get a little bit closer vertically. All right. Okay. And uh, I'll just I'll sh I'll shoot him again. All right. Perfect. Whew. That hits, no problem. Go ahead and roll that damage sneak attack and all the fun jazz. Um... Bone section? Uh, I use it as a dash. Okay. Um, hand crossbow is five. So uh, 21 points of mm -hmm. damage. Perfect. Another one. <laughs> this thing is just soaking damage. It's hard to tell if it's hurt or not at this point. But there are obvious. There's some obvious, obvious chips into it. Some obvious cuts, but it's hard to tell what's alive or not, or what's going on. It just seems to be a. You're hitting a tree. That's a fighting back. It's rough. Uh, that'll end your turn, Valerius. As you get there, that'll bring us around to the hut. The hut is going to make um, take its three attacks. Uh, one of which is going to hit the wolves. So one of these roots comes up, slams down onto the wolf. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, it takes um, 20, a bunch of damage, 25 points of damage. And as it does, it smashes into it. That wolf is going to uh, be, looks looks like as it gets hit, it starts to, like one of its legs looks like it's kind of broken a little bit as it gets belted by this thing and it looks like it's turning to run it's gonna get out of here if it can the hut picks up yet another rock this time it looks like it's the the hunk of a tree and it tosses it towards valerius who's flying through the air valerius does a uh 31 hit uh shield you take yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, that's good damage. Uh, you take 26 points of bludgeoning damage as it throws this thing at you, and you get hit out of the air. And you, you're like, bam! Smash it back. You do a flip, flip, come back into place, still flying uh, where you are. Wait, uh, how much was it? 26. Um, All right, can I, like, uncanny of dodge? Yeah, yeah, sure. 13. Bring it down, nice. 13. Uh, and then tag as you've run up, you can see the the route that you ran up ran, ran up is coming up towards you, and it has to go for a spearing action straight into your chest. Um, you're not raging yet. I raged when I ran up it. Oh, you did rage you when did. you ran up there. Does a twenty three right. hit? Jesus. Golly! Oh my goodness! It's hard for this thing to miss on this. You take twenty nine, have to fourteen piercing damage as it stabs a into your shoulder will. bam as it gets in closer to you um that will it, and then it's going to then it's going to keep moving so it's going to move another 30 feet this direction and move you all with it um taking some moving some of you along some of you were attached and didn't didn't move uh, but the rest of you are kind of moving along with it. Um, Friedrich, you're kind of in the same general area. You feel like you could still get in if you wanted to. Um, for many of you, that triggers an opportunity attack from Coyote, if you want it. Yeah. Good time.
It's just a regular. Hua. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nine. Nine plus what? Should be seven. Yeah, yeah. Let's think yeah. Seven. seven. That yeah. unfor unfortunately that will that will actually that will exactly hit because that's nine Yay. plus seven, which is sixteen. That exactly hits. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Awesome! 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 Seven. All just right. Punching the tree to death. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Just come across. It runs away. It's like. Bam! You hit it with the stick. Root on root violence. Um, that'll end the Hud's turn. Kind of for little spider house. Yeah, tag. We are gonna try and make our way a little bit more inside. Okay. You crawl your way in, just, and you make it all the way inside the building. As you as you enter into the building, uh, you can see the whole area inside. Um, let's see what's inside. The hut is 15 feet on the side and packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel topped wooden chest reinforced with brass brands, an iron tub stained with blood. In the middle of the room is a ghastly wooden crib with a small angelic child sitting in it. All of the furnishings except for the crib are bolted to the floor. Beneath the crib, green light seeps up through the cracks between rotting floorboards. You say there's a child in here? There's a child. Pretty sure you're not supposed to shake a baby. I think we've failed step one. I'm more concerned on why it's still in there but not bolted. <laughs> child. You make it in. Uh, you got your action. What are you doing? Action bonus action. <laughs> Just so like stop the crib. The, <laughs> the crib is not bolted down. No. All right. Well, this seems to be like the green light we saw before. Okay. Might as well start making preparations. Can I move this crib out of the way? You you go over to the crib. You, sh you push it out of the way. Your hand goes straight through it. Seems to be illusionary. Oh well, that makes sense. Good thing there's not an actual bait. Can I attack the floorboards? Uh, you certainly may. Uh, roll. Do it. Dig that roll sucker to hit. out. Roll the first three <gasps> Natural 20 and then natural 16. 20. A natural 20 does hit. Go ahead and... Uh... Oh, so, 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 so sorry. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Roll damage. You could have also made a strength check. But you roll an 20, so like, what the fuck? We're just doing damage. Yeah, we can't. We, we chose violence. <laughs> yeah, we chose violence. Uh, okay. Yeah, you did enough damage. So, with that, you punch down into it. Blam! You smash it in. On the inside, you can see there is this green stone embedded deep into the trunk of this tree. It is wrapped around by tendrils of root that hold it in place, and green energy is being sapped from it further into the roots. Around it, as you open this up, pieces of root and dirt and rock come up like a maw as they come up, and they look like they are ready to bite at you from within. Oh god, it's a mouth. It's a mouth. Hmm. That's your Surprise. action to do that. Bonus action? I knew it was a mimic. Uh, bonus action? Mm -hmm. uh, can I try and scratch at the roots that are holding this in to make it a little bit easier for Freddy when he gets in here? Um. Or can I just attack the mouth? You can just attack the mouth if you want. Attack the mouth. Yeah, you can attack the mouth. That's what okay. you want to do. 
And the mouth is on the 20, other. Twenty twenty-five. That hits sure. no problem. We attack the mouth. Is there anything that looks like a uvula? <laughs> yeah. I was just I'm thinking not... that. I was can gonna we... say it, but I didn't. Can we it's not? A stone. Can we not? So that's a, a total of eleven points of damage. It's eleven points of damage. All right, you're in there. You feel like you're getting a good a good sense of things in there, Tag. Top of the round. It's going to shake and move everything off it again. Try to oh throw God. everybody off it's on the side. Everyone who's inside is going to try and throw them out. I need uh, Tag and Natalia to both make dexterity saving throws. Not again. Well, we had a good run, boys. That's uh, 11. I'm good at hmm. these. 11. Well, I'm inside of the house, but you'll just get bashed into a wall. 11. <laughs> Natalia, you are you are thrown from the building onto the ground. Dang it! You fall. You you you, you, you only fall like ten feet. I have a plus seven, and I still am not doing well. You fall ten feet and take one fall damage. Um, you're right, Ta Torthak. You are inside. It cannot <laughs> shake you out. You, but you do get smashed around on the ah. inside. Uh, your head hits against the back of the glass. Um, you're you're inside this whole thing. You're gonna take. Everything's a go. Eleven. Plan. You're gonna get take eleven bludgeon damage, have to five. As the walls hit you. It's very sad. Um that that ends that turn. Friedrich, you are surrounding oh, this Lord. place. What do you do? You can see there's an open uh, you can see there's an open doorway. You can see Tag is inside. He's punching the ground. Like, what are you doing? So can I get in there with just my movement or uh yeah. Just That's what we on in. Floom. You get inside. You see everything that Tag saw. Yes, there's a hole in the floor. It's a hole in the floor, and you are invisible. Yes. It. The stone does not look loose yet, does it? No. Hmm. That makes things complicated. Uh. Fuck. What do I do? <laughs> I mean, I have a sword. Um. But I'm not good with it. Sounds like a job for a sun sword. <laughs> Man, if only we had one of those in here. Uh, <laughs> how, how does uh, Tag look right now? Is he is he hurt? Are you doing good? I don't know. You're doing good. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is so difficult. Okay. Here's so I, I just look at him. Um. Good lord. Okay, I will take my longsword mm -hmm. and try and stab at the roots that are holding the stone in place. Okay. You may certainly do so. Um, yeah. mechanically, um, mm -hmm. are you trying to remove the gem, or are you just yeah, trying, I'm just to, trying stab to pry it? it out? Trying to pry it out. All right. Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh. Ta-da! Ooh! 23? 23?! That's amazing, nice. Friedrich! That is amazing. I've never seen him so agile. He's never been- he's, like, you just- it's perfect! Friedrich, you get in there! It's just like- like a surgeon! <laughs> and as you do, the, the gem comes flying out! The whole hut sits on the ground. Does it squish that wolf? Oh no! What a rude, what a rude thought. Hey, but does it? I mean, no, the wolf runs. Wow! Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh yeah! I must have known it was coming down. Yeah, yeah. weird, crazy. Yeah, the third we don't, wolf. We don't just. Yeah, we don't I can just, smell structural damage. We don't. We don't just kill animals on this show. You literally okay. said it to. crushed one before. And so here we are. Uh, <laughs> as, you, as you do that, Friedrich, the 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 the, st the, the gem boom, pops out, flies right there in front of Tag, lands on the ground. The roots are severed. The whole house boom, lands on the ground. Can it's, I grab it? It's the whole house stops moving. Okay. Um, I still have my action right and everything. Oh, that was your action to pop it out. Yeah. Okay. Can I just pick it up then? Um, yeah, if you wanted okay. to. Um, yeah. Let's it say goes invisible when I do, right? 
No. Where are you putting it? Not yet. Um, so we'll, we'll if, if that's the case. So you, so no, you're, you're you're just picking up the stone. Then no, it wasn't. It wasn't on your person when you grabbed invisibility. So boop, you can pick it up. Um, yeah. Do we? At this point, we could end initiative. Would you guys like to? I mean, that wasn't the plan. This thing did a lot more damage to us. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, questions? But nobody said the safety word. Obviously, yet. now that it's stopped, I imagine he's going to start moving towards it. Well, yeah. hold on. Let's see. Do you guys want to stop initiative? This is a player question. This is not a character question. This is a, like, do you all as players want to stop initiative? Uh, uh, all right. Well, well, mm-hmm. I was thinking, mechanically speaking, it would probably be better if it stayed in turn base if we're trying to steal it from them. Thoughts? I'm fine with that. Yeah. So, Friedrich, you you pop it out, you <laughs> use your full action to do so. I will say that your bonus action is not enough to pick it up. And so you pop it out, you cannot take it onto your person yet. Um, bonus action for anything? Uh, to inspire Tag with my graceful feet of ballet. Tag, you I are can't inspired. Even see it happen. The whole house hit the ground at this point. Uh, the, dire, the, the dire wolves are going to yeah, start. Yeah. Um, this one that was going that was hurt and was very, very hurt is going to keep running. Just try and survive. It's going to run all the way off and get out of initiative and bail. The other wolves seeing the house fall are going to start moving around it again. Trying to get a sense of things. Doing their stalker mentality. Getting around in the place. A couple of them bite it, but like, like gnaw at it. But seeing that it's now just wood, they're starting to figure out that it's also inert. It's no longer moving. All the roots have fallen into place. Um, all that kind of stuff. So that'll end the dire wolf's turn. Coyote. It's very clear the house is not moving anymore. Sweet. Uh, can I get up in there? Um, you are about 60 feet away from the door. You could dash there, yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you can move, action, dash, and you can get all the way to the front. You see Tag and Friedrich, the, the, or you see Tag. The stone has been pried out. It's laying on the ground right in front of it. Seems I'm to upside be down in a corner. <laughs> yeah, you do not see Friedrich. What do you say? Oh. <laughs> Make it super covert. <laughs> hey, Tag. Um, good job. Fancy Killing the house. Yeah, yeah, what are the odds? Um, lovely place. Is that blood? And the baby. A baby. And the gem. Can I investigate? I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, that's your that's your full action. Um, okay, just to get there. Yeah, you don't have you don't have the movement to, um, you, you don't have the capacity to investigate the room. But you see all that. You talk to your friends, um, that sort of thing. You, you guys are singular friend. There's only one in here. Yeah, you see, you talk to about. your single friend. Um, <laughs> that's gonna bring us to Carol. Carol's going to slowly start moving closer um he'll actually get probably uh it moved closer to him he'll probably he'll move two steps and start very carefully moving around he's still got his hands up like like he looks like he's he's still trying to get tricked he's still on his toes natalia you're on the ground right beside this thing Well, nobody has shouted the code word, so I guess um, I guess Natalia would. I'm gonna stick to Carol like glue, like right next to him. I'm gonna like I'm gonna walk right next to him the entire time. Okay. Ready at any minute. You move closer to Carol. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get you get, you kind of back up and get adjacent to him. Both of you are now like stalking, moving around. You got your shasas out. You're directly adjacent to him. All that kind of good stuff. Um, Valerius. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm more than 50 feet away. Yeah? 
Yeah. So I'll bonus action dash. And with 100 feet, I should be able to make it. You want to get Does inside? Yeah, I want to get inside. Yeah, okay, you can get inside. Okay. Uh, Coyote's kind of in the doorway there, but like looking around, Coyote, you had to back up for a second as Valerius boom, slides like directly next to you and then goes inside the building. What's up, Valerius? What up, what up? What's, what's, what's happening? You can see Tag, so Cody, <laughs> all that stuff. You hear a hushed whisper. I'm about to grab it. You're about to grab it? Oh my god. <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> Um, yeah, ta- all tag saw was it just spit it out. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> convenient. Does it look like it can be put back in the gym? Yeah. Yes. The mouth would swallow it again if you wanted it to. Interesting. Um, can I investigate the room? Um, for what? I want anything that may give me an edge in fighting Kirill. Uh, like, magical scrolls. Perception check. Uh, 18? You do... With that, there's a there's a brass chest. There's And it's got lots of powerful locks on it. That's There's something valuable in there. You can feel pretty certain about it. Rogue skills know that there is. Um, you got a sixth sense about this sort of thing. Um, as far as things that could help you fight Kiro, the best thing you can see here is putting the gym back. Back in. If that was something you were interested in. Um, I will share my investigations with the group here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I'll use, like, I don't know, if it, reaction, action, whatever you want to do. Um... Have a have a quick huddle in here. Um, you don't have time for that, but you can quickly say something. Quickly say something. Fast. All right, quickly say something. Uh, something to think on. Uh, if he gets if he gets close, it may be worth reactivating it to maybe have it go wild. It'll be a risk to both us, but it'll also be a risk to him. Yeah. I like that plan. What that I brings mean? around to that brings around to the hut. The hut does not have a turn because it is incapacitated. Tag. I will reply to Valerius. That might not be a terrible idea. I can tell you firsthand that it will keep you in here when it does. It's shaking about. Just hold on to something once we put that back in and brace for a headache. Roger. You do anything, Tag? I will brace for a headache. Okay. That'll end your... That thing, it's magically locked is what it looks like. The the chest? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to take some serious getting into. Kind of like, here, just go over there and just like open no it's very much it's it. very much locked um it does it does look magical um i guess you would say or really really finely well made Ooh, um, in the sense that it's probably hard to destroy you could do it just like there's nothing that can't be done with a, a pickaxe in time you know True. um but it's uh it would be really really tough top of the round the hut does not move. It is inert. At this point, Kirill realizes that it's probably not going to move again. Friedrich. I, I think we know the move. <laughs> He's going to step over. <laughs> He's going to step over to the window. Uh, Natalia. Might want to take a step back. And then he's going to put the gem back in. Oof. Oh, just Super Dylan. Hey, good time. Yo. Hey, hey, hey Diana. Yo. Lo- Hi. Lauren. Hey, Diana. Welcome. Lauren's about Stay to show. die. Yeah, um, <laughs> action. Put the gem back into Baba Saga's 
Creeping Hut, it springs to life and stands up and starts to move around. Um, Coyote, you step inside real quick, yeah? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you step inside uh, shortly. Hold on. Four members of the party are inside the hut. Uh, one member of the party is outside. Kirill is going to make an insight check to get a sense of what just happened. Uh, he is not on board yet. <laughs> uh, with with a seven, thank God. What it is there. Point? There is too much fight syndrome in him to realize that hey, maybe there's an issue here. Um, and so with that, he, the dire wolves are going to continue. Uh, scared, the dire wolves are going to take their turn to go ahead and attack the hut again. All of them, well, with pack tactics, since they're all in place, will move towards and further in. Uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, do, 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 do. Move closer. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got a 17, a miss, and a hit. So two of these attacks are going to hit. They're going to do a total of... That's the wrong dice. Uh, they're going to do a total of 20 points of damage to the hut uh, as they come up and start biting into it and all this stuff. Uh <laughs> And uh, start to rip into its, its pieces, and all of you on the side getting shaken around. Coyote, what are you doing? Well, try not to get thrown around, I guess. Uh... Fr- like Friedrich, by the way. Friedrich, did you <laughs> did you shout the code word to Natalia too? Is that what happened, or no? No, he didn't. First of all, he didn't. He did not. So Friedrich, no one has told Natalia what's happening. I and mean, that's a free action, isn't it? No. To say, to shout something. So did you hear me? <laughs> so you, you already said what you said. Um, like you did the first there? time. Coyote, you could say something. Coyote, you run across the room. <laughs> the same, the same room that Friedrich just yelled out of. What do you do? I was gonna um, yell. <laughs> Pickle Percival, a lot's going on in here. Pickle Percival. <laughs> I love it. Sounds like something they would say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you just run over. Bonus action. You yell that. Uh, do you have anything to do with your action? Or are you just gonna try to? What else I could do? You could. You could maybe like. Uh, just look, like just the whole room's moving around on you. You could maybe like get up against a corner or something. Hold yourself in place. You know, maybe something like that. Stay away from the mouth. Stay away from the mouth. That's true. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up on the bed. Okay. Get some <laughs> soft some soft stuff underneath you. you. Guys, I'll see Coyote. She gets up on he gets up on top. He's like, "All right, I'm gonna be fine. Probably. I don't know. We'll find out." Uh, that'll end your turn. Stick and like wedge it in the in the corner and just hold on. Carol's Carol's gonna come across. Uh, he he's very concerned at this point. He's gonna he's gonna back up. Um, as he, as he does, uh, he's going to launch a few Eldric Blasts uh, that way. Um, it's going to be all hits, and he's going to do some damage. That is a... That's a really good roll. 23 plus 15 is 38, and... 51 points of damage. Oh my god, you guys think I could take him on by myself? I never said that. <laughs> oh no! You should have had a second word for just run away. Um, That's what I said, though. I would have said, like, Percy's in the hut. Like, <laughs> Percy. Yeah, Percy's so it, it, but the, the hut is looking r- pretty rough at this point. It's had its heart ripped out, put back in, it's getting <laughs> smashed by Kirill. Um, it's not looking its best. Natalia, what are you doing? Hey, that it's my turn. <laughs> I've been told two things. Step back, and then... I, I heard Pickle Percival. <laughs> Which means to attack. And as far as I know, there are friends on the other side of the hut attacking the other wolves. Oh, no. Okay, see three with the the house is back up, isn't it? The house is back up and moving around. Um, Natalia, mm-hmm. before you do anything, 
You you saw the house go inert. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a pretty smart character, right? Uh, you saw the house go inert. I have a 14 intelligence. Yeah, that's pretty smart. It's pretty sharp. You saw the house go completely incapacitated. You know all your friends are inside. And then you saw it come back to life in full. You may you may take that for how you think it is. You don't have to... There's nothing that Natalia would, would necessarily know that maybe you wouldn't know. So you may take that for what it is. The there's a lot of things you saw it go down. You heard the code word. There's a there's a lot here where you can justify basically anything. What would you like to do? Um, there aren't any windows that I could fly through. I yelled at you through a window. The yelled at you through a window. Yelled at you. Where where are the windows? You could get in. You you could theoretically use your full turn to get inside the building. Yeah. Okay, I would like to do that. Give me an athletics or acrobatics short chance. <laughs> athletics or acrobatics chance. Uh, your choice. Check. I think that's the word. 18? Uh, without a problem. I run up, duck and roll into the building <laughs> through what the, the window. What the devil's Percival is going on here? I kind of thought we were fighting. We were all going to be there. You just let me out. You get inside. You bust through the door. And you get all the way inside. Uh, that ends your that turn, Natalia. So Valerius. I'm just like she's just like, what the hell? <laughs> what does it cost me to talk and get a response? Um, to get a response, bonus section. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask if uh. If we're if we're all for the go ahead to start start launching range attacks at this man, at Kirill, bring him down. And game. Um. Hmm. How does one get to a window here, though? We'll we'll say that you could just you could pull around to the far side, if you wanted to, and get to a window. You, if you want, if you want to shoot care from here, you can. Like, cause the, the house is moving, as you are too. It's kind of swinging. You're swinging. So you want to shoot? If you want to shoot care from inside here, you can. Um. Uh, I still don't know if it's smart. So I might just pick my corner and brace. Okay. Because I imagine that's going to be action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. Valerius is going to try to stop himself from getting ragdolled into his into his other companions. Okay, you do that, and you brace in, brace to where you need to be. Uh, that'll bring us around to the hut's turn. The hut is going to smash all three wolves. Blam, blam, blam! Wait, it'll take its all its turn. What it picks up a rock, throws it down into one of them. Takes the other two, picks them up, smashes them together, slams in the ground. They all let all three wolves fall to the ground, unconscious, unmoving, effectively dead. You ever get so mad that you smash one wolf into another wolf? <laughs> the hut and that's the hut. That's one attack. Right? The hut starts to move around and do all this kind of stuff. Tag your turn. Okay. Well. I need to attack something. So I'm going to go attack the chest to see if I can try and bust it open. Want to stay raging. We're going to get mad at it. Don't you have to attack a creature? Is it part of the construct? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what? You know what? Yeah, go ahead and roll it. Psychological <laughs> questions. We, 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 were, we, we were shooting the sides of the house and it was taking damage, so. We'll attack it. Oh, we're missing. <laughs> we're not very good at attacking houses. Eight, eight plus one. Moving a lot. Uh, eight plus seven. Fifteen so. misses. Just misses. Oh. Both attacks, or were you reckless? That was that was my first set, my first two claws. Okay. We'll, we'll try the second two. Mm -hmm. That's much better. Both those hit. Um, you can you can do that. 
Um, it, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you think. Yeah. It doesn't. Does it? You, you you feel like your rage is maintained, but unfortunately, it doesn't do any kind of significant damage to the chest. But you can maintain that rage. Uh, that will end your the chest and hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already use your action. So everyone oh, who no. used their We're action may make their dexterity so- saving throw with advantage as it tries to shake and baby syndrome you all. Um, make your dexterity saving throw is DC 15. I got a 10. Players who fail take 12. Players who succeed take 6. Hey, 24. Um, Friedrich, top of the round. Yes. All right, six damage. Are you uncanny though? Ow. Uncanny. Dodge it's an area of effect. Bacon. So un- uncanny dodge okay. plus one thing. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, shoot. That's fine. That's not for me. Does, it, does anyone go down? Uh, how much damage was that? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yeah. Natalia, would you roll? Coyote. Natalia's fine. She takes six. Fine. Uh... <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 52, I'm a 6. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 52, I was southern now, I'm not, so help me. What just happened to your voice? I got hit in the head real hard. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Friedrich! Um, Alright, so this house is currently just beat the crap out of all these wolves, and Kirill is none the wiser. Um, yeah. Yet. So. I'm assuming that if I started attacking him, he might get suspicious. I wonder. Uh, so instead, I'm going to help out Coyote. I'm going to do a second level cure For, wounds. Okay. Does it sound like healing the house? No. Coyote gets Why would I heal this? <laughs> so it can run us away. Um, <laughs> Alright, oh, that, that'll, end, that'll end your turn, Friedrich. Uh, the Dire Wolves do not get a turn. That'll bring Sean to Coyote. 12 points back. Yay. Hi, house. I'm southern again. So. <laughs> I took no deal to be southern. He healed the brain damage I just acquired. 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 <laughs> acquired. Oh, not he enough. Most of it. It's still there. <laughs> most, it's still lingering. He fixed the part that deals with language. <laughs> okay. Can't really get at Carol. I mean, I guess I don't know, I'll I'll go for the the chest. I guess. I you can, else I could you, you can certainly punch the chest if you wish. Yeah. Um, all right, so you you do that. Uh, it's it's it does not look like you could possibly damage the chest. Um, the chance the chest looks enchanted, but if you want to punch, you can. Even with their magic fists? I think you all heard me the first time. Uh, <laughs> to be fair. Um, Alright. Hey, everybody's got magic attacks up again. Everyone on your team is inside the house. The house went inert for a significant amount of time. It then... Then strange words were said. Natalia ran into the house. The house came back alive. Then three wolves died. Alright, so he's not gonna get smart. Even Kirill can't misread these signs. It's and, not that nice okay. And <laughs> and uh and you all You knew someone that was not your friend who had ambitions that were contrary to your goals. You knew someone that needed Irina and now, and you guys were just kind of in the way, right? And so he didn't necessarily hold animosity towards you, just simply were... Not his friend. <laughs> I like where this is going. As you all sit inside this house with all of his pack destroyed, Kirill looks on upon what you are, and there is a darkness that 
wells in from all of Barovia. It goes into the creeping hut, and you can see this small black smoke fill your ankles. It goes all the way down into where the gym is. It fills it up. There's this green light that comes up through the smoke. And each of you feels something deep in your heart. It is real. There is some sort of mark. Something has happened beyond the scope of your perception. And you feel as though you have made an enemy this day. Kira will shift into his werewolf form and Kira will sprint away. He will use his full movement, bounding out of the swamp, away from this place. Unless you pursue him, he's gone. How fast is he? Lauren Lauren is muted. He is fast. Like he is 180 feet around fast. I I would like to do something if he's if he's within sight. He's within sight. Okay, great. Uh, I would like to do something. Natalia is going to kind of like turn the palm of her hand outward while looking at him. And she's going to like take her fingernails and just dig them into her palm to create a mark. And then she's going to put her hand outwards and like the blood will just kind of like fly out in front of her. And I would like to use brand of castigation on him. What does that do? That's what I was about to ask. It's not like brand of castration. <laughs> sounds oh really bad. Does, that sounds I'm not way worse. At this point. <laughs> Should learn that one. That one probably. Be <laughs> Please really don't effective. learn that one. <laughs> oh, I have to hit him. Never mind. Uh, it was really cool. This is when I write ahead. damage a creature with your crimson, right? You can choose to sear an arcane brand into it. Wow. Never mind. It was really cool, but it doesn't work. Never mind. It's still cool. It still happens. It's, it's really, really awesome. Are you going to let me do it regardless? No. Okay. But it's still cool. He thinks that it happened. He doesn't know what you just did. Can you catch know. that whole person stuff? He's probably too far Sorry, away. Me? I think he's too far away from that. No. Probably too far away. Did anyone steer this house? <laughs> yeah, he has to be within 30 feet of me for that. Oh, uh, 30? With, yeah, with that. With the other one, because it was. With that, no Kirill, really. Kirill heads off into the woods and he's gone. Uh, you do not see him. He disappears into the nothingness. Fight me like a man, bro. Natalia. Yes. It's your turn. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's my turn. It. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, he's gone now. House is still up. There, there. At this point, there. Are, we at this point, we're at the. We're at a spot where it's about getting the gem back out or doing damage. Um, the house has this house or the house has only so many hit points left. You know, it's less than a hundred. Tell you that because I'm a <laughs> kind person. Um, or you can try to pry the gem out. Which would you like to do? I would like to pry the gem out. Okay, give me a, sh- a dexterity saving throw. I'm not going to say that I'm good at these this time. Wise. Mm, didn't help. <laughs> didn't help at all. As you Got reach one. 12. As you reach in, you try to pull that out. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the roots and the rocks and the teeth of this maw actually get a hold of you you take oh. nine points of piercing damage oh you try God. to pull it out and you do you fail to retrieve the gem uh valerius same question do you stab the hut or do you pull it out i'll try and pull it out dexterity saving throw ah yeah. oh, there we go oh my bad does a uh does a 25 do it <laughs> uh it's gonna use luck Reroll that. <laughs> oh, oh, to re-roll. And with, with that, Valerius, how do you want to pull this gem out and end, to end this counter? Um, that's a good question. I didn't think about it. I figured I'd just yank it out. Uh, you can just do that. 
I mean, yeah, man. I'll. I got my saber in one hand. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop at it. Chop at its roots while I try and uh, get it out with my with my other like saber, like pry. You pull over. You get, you got one hand. You like. You basically take the take the saber. You stab it down. Rip it across like you're trying to pull out. Like like just ripping it through. You get the roots out. It kind of com comes loose. You reach down with your bird hand. Pull it up and and pull it free as it does the creeping hut poof, lands on the ground as it was before and goes incapacitated you now have it in your hands initiative in. and with that i think that we can appropriately end initiative um shout out to dungeon nom nom with the raid, dungeon thank you for joining nom us. Nom. It's Dungeon Mom. Like, dungeon Mom. Raid? Dungeon Nom Nom. Thank dungeon you. Nom nom. I like that dungeon better. Nom nom thank nom. you. Thank you for raiding with the party of 11. We appreciate you so much. Thank you to MLU421. You are follower 666. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to you. It's pretty good. But with our that, little demon. Our little demon. Little badge. You are the one. Congratulations. Um, but with that, we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the music and end our initiative here. Um, you guys are now inside the hut. The gem of the Wizard of the Wines that was inside Babala Saga's hut is now yours. You're looking around. I will give you the description again, uh, just to make sure everyone here heard it. Because this one happened like mid-battle. It's 15 feet on on a side and packed with old furniture. Uh, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel-topped wooden chest reinforced with brass bands, and an iron tub stained with blood. In the middle of the room, above the broken uh, maw that you just pulled us from, is a ghastly wooden crib with an angelic child sitting in it. All the furnishings, except for the crib, are bolted to the floor. Crib's gone, though, right? No. Was that, was that smoke? Oh, sorry. I'd... I was just going to ask if the smoke was figurative or literal. Uh, literal. It is. Um, I would like for you to make a religion check. Uh, anyone who's proficient in religion and Natalia may make the check. Does uh, half proficient count? It does not. Uh, All right. Well, then that's where. I'll Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frederick. You're right. You can you can make that check. Yay! <laughs> you, you can make every check. Thank I'm, you. I, I, I lied. You're a bard. That's part of your thing, dude. I'm literally half proficient in everything. I know. You get to make every check if you want. Oh, thank God. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Good thank you. 22? Yes. Friedrich. My goodness. What um, a night for Friedrich. Natalia, you seem distracted. Um, I do. Yes. I, she's actually she's super injured, and she's actually going to just leave this and go outside. Yeah, this was this would this should have been a very easy check for you, um, specifically because of your, your background. Um, but unfortunately, you are distracted at the moment. Um, everyone else, Friedrich. With a 22. You know that Barovia is a place where the gods do not linger. It is not a place that is well respected beyond the divine gate. But there is something here in this plane of dread that is deity like in nature. And from your readings and everything you know, the legends and myths that you feel have heard it's known as the dark powers and from time to time they manifest on this plane and you believe that what you saw is a manifestation of that 
the baby was a manifestation of that? No, the oh. smoke. The smoke. Okay. <laughs> the baby's still there. The baby. <laughs> the baby is still there, just kind of rolling know. around, having a good time, floating amid this whole thing. I'm really smart weird. To wonder if it's like baby strong. Um, it'd be impossible to know. Right. I mean, I'd like to play with the baby. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the baby doesn't respond to you. Um, it's just an illusion. It's just kind of there, like. Um, there, there's, there's enough, there's enough connotations to know that this is pro, this is probably Baba Lasaga's house. Baba Lasaga believes she's Strahd's mother. You're getting the sense that maybe that she put this illusion here to believe that maybe this was Strahd. Fair. Being the rogue I am, can I look at this chest? Um, yes, we can. Is there anything anyone else would like to do? As we were doing this, wolves Wolves are dead. dead. I know they're dead. I look for them. (laughs) They're outside. They're inside. I would like to heal myself. There's a whole bathtub of blood in here. I would love to heal myself (laughs) with that since I'm near death here. You go outside and do your thing. Are you trying to be stealthy about it? I am. Give me a self check. Friedrich pops back into existence, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, it's been a minute. 23. Um, I will say you don't exactly leave the room right now, um, but over the next, what will likely be a short rest this party has, you're able to get out there and do some things, if, if that's something you wish to do as Natalia. Um, do you want to describe what happens there for our people? While they're inside? No, well, just like, how does that, yeah, how, does that how do you imagine this works for you? She is super injured and um, when when she gets to that point she's just almost like wheezing and having trouble breathing and uh just blood from her temples um some kind of coming down her eyes a little bit and like she's struggling and she just kind of like like drags herself toward the dead wolves on the floor or on the the swamp floor swamp whatever and uh, as she just gets closer, she kind of falls into the muck and just kind of drags herself towards it. And um, mm. she will drink the animal's blood to it's dis- bring her back from death. <laughs> it's disgusting. You take your, it, 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 you, you, you drink from these animals and it's fine. And that takes place sometime over the next 20, 30 minutes when you will feel successfully stealth as you beat everybody's checks. So what are, what's my die roll for that again? I don't know. Valerius. <laughs> I don't figure know. You, you can figure it out. Roll whatever you want. Um, <laughs> D20s. Okay. D20s. <laughs> I'm going to roll five D20s for my healing. <laughs> okay. You, you do what you like. Whatever you think is fair. Uh, so, uh, Valerius, you go over to the chest. Um, it is barrel topped. So it's got kind of like some, some arch to it. There are brass bands that wrap all the way around looking at it it looks kind of magical in nature um what would you like to do to the chest uh can i see if it's trapped like i saw him smacking it and go up but maybe you may go ahead and give me uh an, an arcana check could have been worse uh 16 doesn't look trapped uh yo freddy you still got detect magic mm-hmm. you still have detect magic mm-hmm. you mind ritual casting him of course if you if we're going to begin casting a um ritual detect magic that sounds like it's going to trigger a short rest for us meaning that we're not going to pursue Kirill. is that right I believe so. Yeah. Uh, he, at, he's fast anybody else is? Yeah, does anybody else want to try and pursue Carol? None of you can catch Carol. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Except for we barely ex- know which way is right in this forest. Let's not. Sure, 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 sure. Um, let's go ahead and start taking a short rest. Um, um, can I use Song of Rest while we do that as well? You certainly may. Sweet. He sings a small little lullaby. Oh, God, yes. Everybody gets an extra six hit points. 
if you uh, <laughs> use a hit die. Nice. A short rest is had. Um, hit dice can be rolled, um, except for Valerius. Um, Valerius, you and Friedrich, while working on the short rest, and Friedrich, you roll, you do your te detect magic. Um, as you finish casting it, you start looking at the chest. Um, there is a significant amount of magic that comes from the chest. Um, first of all, you see everything that's on all of your persons. The gemstone um, is necromancy, just like the other one was. And it provides a great, powerful aura in this whole area that almost dwarfs everything else that's inside. <sighs> From the chest, you can sense evocation. You can sense enchantment. You can sense necromancy. You can sense um, abjuration. You can sense transmutation in fact and then even more enchantment there is there's stuff in there and it some of it's chest or from inside of it from inside the chest around the chest um you may give me an arcana check too okay. i'll let i'll let you make the same check that valerius failed Oh, dude. Can I guidance that? Oh. On. Can you guidance saving throws? You said a check. I, you're right. It's an Archon check. Um, I don't have guidance, though, apparently. Sorry, okay. that was my other character. <laughs> okay. Um, with a 14, um, it's hard to tell. They're all very, very close together. But there, there, you you can inform Valerius should you wish that there are a great many types of magical um, auras coming from that place. I, I see them all as like different colors, right? Yeah, they're all different colors, and it, it is a plep. There, there are at least four different schools of magic coming from this thing. That thing is leaking magic in a magical rainbow right now. I think there's a high chance it could explode, or there's a lot of good goodies in there. Maybe both. Um, is there writing on it? <sighs> He's like, let me dig deep into what they gave me. <laughs> it's tough. Because... You know it's magical. You can you get a sense that that's true. Like I'm trying. I want to be. I want to be as truthful as I can. Um, you know it's magical. You can see there are runes on the bands. Um, there's magic inside. There's magic around. That's confirmed from Friedrich. It would be as far as actual writing. You wouldn't see anything other than the runes on the bands themselves. Um, but you, of course, Valerius, know that when things are trapped magically, the writing can be anywhere. It can be on the inside of the chest. It can be underneath the bands. It's inside the lock itself. Sometimes it's ingrained into the logo or the chest, the crest of the, the Lord on the outside. So... Just because there's runes on the bands themselves doesn't mean it's not trapped elsewhere. Um, with the checks the two of you have made, it's hard to know what's going on. All right, well. I could try and blow it up. I'd like to leave before you do that. Well, yes, from a <laughs> safe distance. Yeah, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd probably hope everybody would leave. Let's say everybody backs up. Right. Cur currently, that's just Fli Friedrich and Valerius, Natalia, Cody, Torthak. You're all kind of taking a short rest. This is probably the time when Natalia eats somebody's blood. Um, you know how she does. Um, all right, what is what is Thieves' tools? It's a it's a dexterity check to open it up. 
Actually, it's sleight of hand, technically. Okay, but I have these tools as an expertise. So how does that work? Yeah, then you just roll. You roll. You roll. It's it's uh your dex plus your proficiency twice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get it, double it, proficiency. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you can be proficiency expertise in thieves' tools specifically. So if that's the case. It's prof twice and dex. Okay. Well, I unless you have anything else you want to say, I will just let him try and force his way through, and then if that doesn't work, I'll come do. Tools. What do you do, Friedrich? All right, Friedrich is going to step outside the hut. Yeah, I'm okay. also going to get away from this. Okay. Um, he's going <laughs> to kind of crack his fingers and pull out his loot, and he's going to strum a good note and send a shatter at that chest at second level. You burn the spell, the chest is unaffected. All right. Well, that did not work. Did not. Fred, you have to spell magic. Not currently. I, I got yeah, rid of that. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. Unlucky. Uh, well, I'll go with the plan. Uh, I plan wish to be D. sent out. I wish to be sent out the same way as Percival if I die. Sure. Noted. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and pick it. All right. You can give me. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me a um you, you you can go over there and try to pick the lock. Feel free. Ooh. Does an eleven do it? Yes. Not it's not a lock. tough it's not a tough lock. You go over, you pick the lock, it opens up, the bands around it snap, and what do you do? I'm gonna open it. You open it up and take as it explodes in fury, all this thunder damage comes out. You take 19 points of thunder damage. No one else oh. is in the room, uh, so you're the only one who takes it. It just blows you back. You land poof, poof, as everything as you open up the chest. All right, I died. Valerius, are you dead? <laughs> no, I'm good. No <laughs> response. <laughs> All this, man. It was just it was five d eight. What's up? It could have been it could have been power word kill. I don't know, man. That would have been rough. No, I thought no, he was this, the no other this, chest. No, in this thing, man. Look, I didn't write it. I didn't write this. It would have been power no, no, word. The if way I was done it, it, I was like, wait. I was like, if I did magic bands on this thing again, Look, this guy sucks. Hey, we we <laughs> hey hey. I I think it's Brandon's not here, so it's just James. Like you know what I do with magic bands. Like this ain't that. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you were you there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dylan, spell. Dylan was that game. James was in that game. Like yeah, you I didn't have to do all bands. The magics. I'm like, how many bands does this thing have? Is it seven? seven? Is it seven? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Better not have seven. You cast the wrong magic on the band, you die. Like, oh great. I remember that. that yeah, was it's fun. It's 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 rough stuff. In right, give me the loot. You open up the you open up the chest inside. You find. 1300 gold pieces five 500 gold piece gemstones um two of which are diamonds a vial containing oil of sharpness two spell scrolls mass cure wounds and revivify a pouch containing 10 plus one ammunition a set of pipes of haunting and a stone of good luck. Pipes of haunting? What is that? that I don't really cool. know. Nobody knows. It's, it, it, it's like a fear. It's like an AOE fear or something like that. I think so. It charges cool. like daily. That sounds pretty dope. It does sound really uh, cool. Good luck. Uh, uh, two two dies. Uh, three gems. Uh, 500 each. Uh, 1,300 gold pieces. I'll take I'm a the diamond. Two scrolls. I put it, I put it in the... Put it in Twitch chat. Oh my God. Uh, so everyone else can know what we got. So I'll take the uh, the diamonds. If no one else is opposed. Yeah, as long as you keep spell slots. Yeah. So now I got three diamonds. Um, mm -hmm. Quick worst uh, case scenario, there's a spell spell right there. Oh, there's a stone of good luck. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Was I a plus one to like saving throws? 
Yes, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so, you stand around Bobble Saga's creeping hut, as it is inert. You have the gem, the magic gem for the Wizard of the Wines, two of the three. In hand, you have all of this loot. What do you guys want to do? I'm going to react to that. What's next? Well, I'll Natalia. The stone back. Oh, yeah, the stone, yeah. All right, so. We can either take the stone back, get our plus one equipment. Because I think that's what he wanted, right? He just wanted the stone back, and he said he'd give us plus one equipment. And then, or we could go to Argon's Fort. He said he sent out like a message to have the mercenaries that we wanted there from the feather. Hmm. If I'm looking at if, if, I, if I remember the map correctly though it's like it'd take a minute to get over there give them the stone and then get to Argon's Wart Argon's Wart is relatively close to us from where we are yeah relatively compared to like going all the way back in you did see that the tower was referenced by the ghostly dragon in the cemetery last session it's close. close. It's relatively close by. As long as we can find our way there. Yeah. Which way did um? Which way did Carol run? Northwest. Okay. Uh. So that's not towards Argon's Wart. Let's pull up the. Let me reference Let's the map see. for everyone. Northwest like, is actually, towards like Fester right Hill. To the east. You're all currently effectively right about here. Hold on. Let me move everybody individually. Thanks, dude. Did you know if you, you can move I'll everybody move at once? <laughs> I swear to fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to help, man. <laughs> Suddenly, lightning strikes hilarious. You take... Again? And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm you dead. take... Oh, no, no, 260? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't verify that. Oh, my God. Yeah, come on, bro. Hit me with one of those diamonds. It's just Valeri a smudge on the floor. Valerius is ash. <laughs> Oh, let me move Percival's. <laughs> Percival's back. <laughs> Percival. <laughs> it's like, it's his spirit, and he's always with us. Yeah. I think he's just moving him to where his body was. Yeah. I was just going to, I was like, all right, let me duplicate Percival's background now. Move it over Valerius. <laughs> cool. All right. So, so I guess rel kinda relatively is. speaking, um, Argon's Vort is, you know it to be roughly where Coyote is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. And the wines is like all the way back there. So. Yeah. yeah um, we were going to make a big circle. That was the plan. We can, we can continue with it. I was, just right. the, I was just given the options. I don't know if we're on a time limit, so it's like. Going north? Yeah, we can go north. Arkansas War. Anyone else decline this plan? We good to go? Let's do it. Feel good? Anything we want to do yeah. here in Babalasaka's hut before we move on? Is there anything else interesting in the hut? Not really. <laughs> okay. And there's a bathtub of blood, but we we saw what they do with that. Mm. Does she have any letters from her her son? 
Make a persuasion check. Mm-hmm. Not persuasion, persuasion check. check. Perception. Oh, persuasion. Persuasion. Like, oh. Perception. Better but persuade Strahd to write to his mother. Talk them into existence. Persuade the baby. Oh. oh. Uh, that is with a negative one on a nineteen. <laughs> With a, with a negative one on a natural 20, you feel pretty confident there are no letters to Strahd here. Or no letters from Strahd here yeah. either. They didn't write. No wonder she was so angry. Nobody loved her. Wow. I wonder if she got so mad when I called her Strahd's mummy. Yikes. Hologram baby looked pretty happy. <laughs> Hologram baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cast a spell magic on the baby what how do you know what you do like, so what like, um, what like holds it I think you need to make a check for that roll oh uh, I don't have the spell he doesn't, he doesn't have it. oh you don't have it okay it's not learned currently what wow. um, prepared wow I mean I got rid of it after it you know got my friend killed it, so it's crazy what like holds magic on this if like the person who casts it's probably dead that's a good question. Wish I knew. I'm not Arcana enough. Weird. Bro. Strength, magic. How does it work? I think it would be I fair. I think you. Uh, I think you are fair to assume that some enchantments can are hold on their own. So like spells that are cast and concentrated on are different than spells that are programmed and enchanted. So you can take the time to enchant something, and it will always have that it becomes in innately magical oh um, outside of the concept of spells i don't know max do you have enough time probably not how much time uh oh, depends yeah. it's all crazy um, okay it's like depends what do you want to do yeah it's like that that's it's the same principle that it has like the sun sword it's a great example it's been enchanted to be you know made of fire so True. Speaking of wishes, anybody want to try to tune to that? I thought that was you. I mean, I'm down for negotiations. I don't really care. I don't use swords. I know Lauren said she wanted it when it first appeared. I think Lauren's character hated it. Oh, yeah. She did back away from it, didn't she? She hissed like a cat at it. (laughs) She did. I pulled it out. I was like, hey, cool. It helped. And she was like... (laughs) I don't think it's gonna. Li- I think it's gonna hate me more than I. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna like That's me. Fair. The sword and the Rod's necklace just fight all the to. time. Yeah, the sword and the necklace wouldn't get along. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I could try and attune to it. I guess. I don't know how how its entity works. Does it? Who has the luck stone? Uh, I think I do. You want it? If If you don't want it, I will take it. It doesn't matter to me. You can have it. Um, I'll also take the pipes unless anyone objects. No. Or you can I think go you, play those pipes. You have to be proficient with wind, woodwinds, or what does it say? It just said an instrument. Wind instruments. Must be wind proficient with wind instruments to you, use these pipes. Are you proficient pipes. with wind instruments? I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm proficient sure. with a pan flute? Sure. <laughs> I think bards are proficient with all instruments. They should be. And they ought to be. And Torthak is as well. If they ought to be, man, I'm proficient in it. Let's go. Go ahead, man. That's all you. Mm-hmm. Cool. Play the play those pipes. I won't do it now because I don't want to scare you. Sure. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, on our journey to Argon's Vort, I'll attempt to tune to the Sun Sword. Sure. And I make I'm a, also assume that everybody's going to the Argon's Vort. Yeah. Quick question. Go ahead. Uh, Oil of sharpness, Mm -hmm. if used on a plus three weapon, does it make it a plus six weapon? No. It sets the new plus two, plus three. Okay. So, for instance, if you have a Monday weapon, it becomes plus three. If you have a plus two weapon, it becomes plus three. Gotcha. Same as like a headband of intellect. Gotcha. So it's a set, not like an add. Correct. Got it, got it. What? Still re- still really good if you were to pair that oh, yes. with, I don't know. Let's say someone like had two handed fighting and they could wield the sun sword and plus three Shaska at the same time. Wow. That'd be crazy. 
What if someone was also two-handed and they could do like a rapier and a sun sword at the same time? Probably wouldn't be as effective mm -hmm. because they get all their damage from from sneak attack. So, Ouch. would the sword like me? I don't know, Natalia. As we walk through these woods towards Argonsvort, you have this existential crisis. You're you hate me, clearly. <laughs> You're clearly very much so not completely human, but not undead either. There's an, a, a purgatory you're currently existing between. And maybe you're asking yourself this question because you want to know, are you good or not? Are you good aligned despite your affliction? Are you evil? What are you? Definitely. As you think to yourself and you walk towards Argon's Fort. Would oil of sharpness work on my claws? James. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> what if I what if I drank it? Would it work on my teeth? Oh. Valid question. Tech, I, I feel like I've set something else here and I want to listen to Lauren's answer. Right. Uh, we'll come back to it. But the short answer is yes. Um, Lauren? I think Natalia is good. So the sword would like you. It would like me. Yeah. The sword does not exactly discriminate against dead or undead. It's not that black and white. It's like, are you good? Are you not? And it can see the and morality beneath. And it wouldn't be effective in Valerius's hands. I mean, it would be effective in Valerius's hands. If Valerius hits more often, that's always good. But you can attack with it. Rude. Or if he actually gets into melee. Yeah. If Yo, I get into melee, bro. It's not with giant trees that do forty damage. Like you, you can you can hit with it twice when yeah. Valerius true. can only hit with it once. I don't have two attacks. This is a fact. Um. If, if he doesn't want it, I guess I will take it. I didn't think that I would be allowed to take it because I didn't think it would like me. I mean, if you don't like it, you can just say so. <laughs> it's... No! <laughs> I... it No, it's not that. I think I, I'm, I'm afraid of it. Maybe you shouldn't take it. You do what you wish. But the Sun Sword won't deny you if you take it. Natalia is a good person. She does all the things that she does for family, for good. She has a harbinger. Um, not harbinger, that's the wrong word. She has She's a, a harbinger of good. Yeah, she is. Which, well, that's, that's a thing, but not in Natalia's case. Um, she has a, a vendetta against Strahd. She seeks to destroy the devil. Sergey, the sword, and Natalia are very much aligned in many ways. Like Let me Natalia... palpatine this. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Take the sword. Do it. Do it. <laughs> the sword won't. The sword certainly won't deny you. You. You does seek the, the same thing. Care it does. if you're good. It does care. Um. Well, it's like, uh oh. <laughs> No, Dylan's like, like, Dylan's like, like I'm anyway. looking at D&D &D Beyond, D &D Beyond right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> and I just kind of think it's kind of messed up. You know, this personality of the sword don't seem too good to me. Yo, what up, man? You scared of it or not? Is this happening like in character? Like, are we having this <laughs> just, like, existential every, crisis? Everyone's walking. Natalia's like, yeah, just I'm like sitting here about to woods. attune to it, and she's like, hours go by. <laughs> hours. Dylan wants it. It's very clear that he wants it, and I will give. I will let him have it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be. That's gonna making be good. an unoptimized choice for Iron Valor. That's always a good thing. Whatever. So we walk up to Argus Sport. <laughs> Me and, the, me and the sword about to get along. High above the river valley, just a quiet promontory. Or psh, 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 sorry, high above the river valley, just a pri quiet 
promontory upon which looms a spectral mansion. Its turrets capped with fairy tale cones. Its towers lined with sculpted battlements. A third of the structure has collapsed, as has part of the roof, but the rest appears intact. A dark octagonal tower rises from the surrounding architecture. Out of the fog comes a distant peal of thunder, quickly accompanied by the howling of wolves in the woods around. But the house stands silent, seeming like the fossilized remains of some long dead thing smoked upon, upon the mountainside. Just outside, a caravan of were ravens have set up camp just outside the mouth of. Argensbolt. What do you do? Mm, I need to rest before going in. Since I didn't get to. It, oh, yeah. And I got blown up by a chest. You may short rest. Friedrich's still pretty quiet, even even now. Um, he kind of perked back up for the fight, probably the the adrenaline going in him, but he, he still hasn't been talking very much. So he'll he'll leave the decision making up to everybody else for now. Charity would like to sniff for anything suspicious. The best oh. you can sense is that you can smell the were ravens. There, there's several of them, half a dozen, maybe less, maybe more. Hard to tell. They're all up there, kind of like sitting around a little, little, you know, cart. They seem to be waiting on something. Was I muted for that whole thing? I'm sorry. I don't know. Were you? What'd you say? I think it was. Uh, I was just saying that Friedrich has been still very quiet. Um, he he hasn't been talking much. Like he perked up a little bit for the battle, probably just the adrenaline of the whole thing. But uh, he hasn't really said anything this whole trip, so he's going to leave the decision making up to everybody else. Still, in case you're wondering why I'm very quiet. There you are. What do you guys want to do? There's a, they're all just, they seem to be waiting. They're not really doing anything, sitting around. I mean, yeah, I'll go into the camp. All right. As you approach, roll initiative. Um, oh, my were ravens are. You ravens you approach are you approach the camp and you can see, uh, you count quickly that there are five were ravens. Um, there's a, but there seems to be something interesting kind of there in the courtyard. Perched atop a 10 foot wide, 10 foot high cube of granite is a moss covered statue of a dragon, its wings tucked close to its body. The statue looks east toward the mansion itself, the, the broken tower that you see here. As you approach Valerius, one of, one, one of the men there that is within, within the, um, the camp says, uh, she calls out to you and says, Oi! Who goes there? Uh, Valerius of the Feather. Oi! I'm Robert. Oh, nice. What's up, Robert? What's up, Robert? Oi! Uh, how goes it? How were the ruins? Terrible. Awful. Filled with ghosts and water. A horrible thing, to be sure. Anything I should know, Robert? <laughs> nah, we're here nah. to, uh, you know, we're here to help you if you can. I'm supposed to leave 
Three of my men with you. If uh, everything's okay. Were you able to recover the gem? I mean, yeah, Robert. Yeah. Well, let's see it then. Talon's like, this man just disrespected me. Can I, can I insight check Robert? Sure. <laughs> Oh. Alright, man, oh. Robert's cool. I'll show it to him. He's shady as fuck. <laughs> He's no. shady as fuck. With a two? He's shady. <laughs> show it to him, like, well, that's just not fine piece of magic. I'm saying, it's a that's a big rock. Yeah. How about I take this on back to Davian? My, myself and my friend here, we'll head on back. We'll leave these three with you. He said that uh, you need some help with the with the castle, for whatever reason. I don't know why I'd want to go on that ruin. I don't trust this dude. <laughs> dude well, come on, now you told to Davian to cut for us to come here to pick it up. Oh, I never said that. Well, Natalia it. did. And he points to Natalia. What did I say? <laughs> making deals with the birds. You're making deals with that behind my back? <clears throat> I would like to remind all of you three sessions ago <laughs> you told Davian to send people to meet you here in Argonsvort so that he could send you Argen. reinforcements for Argonsvort and that he would pick up the gem at this location so that they could take it back to the Wizard of the Wands for you yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. it was yeah. in fact your idea well, it was my idea to have him send the men here because I didn't want to go all the way over there to him and then to get me yeah. on the yeah. other side of the yeah yeah. So they could. But pick I don't know up if I gym. do. You think Robert's actually? Do I think Robert's actually capable of making it back safe? I mean, he's as strong as you are. Doubt. One v one. I'm Russell. <laughs> Dylan's like, are you worthy to carry this back? R- for Fight real me. though, he's about to get mugged in the woods. Oh, right, I'll be fine. It's like literally an hour and a half from here. Like, we'll just ride along the road. It'll be fine. Place is much safer now that the wolves are gone. What you guys think? You guys think I should give him this stone? Can I insect, insight check this man's strength? Insect check it. <laughs> Dude, I'm saying... This Dude, was your idea. We're gonna make it all difficult. Daniel, it was <laughs> This not. was your idea. It was idea. not. <laughs> all of you, you all want this. this. You I wanted this. Dude named Robert. <laughs> like Robert doesn't even sound like he's strong. Robert sounds like some kid they got off the side of the road, like on the way here. Have you heard of Robert Baratheon? Okay, not he was once strong. in my life. That's true. Right. This man has not seen Game of Thrones. Oh my God, is this um, Robert the the kid that you fed right, the pie man, to? Right, earlier? Dude, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it to Robert, and I swear, Robert better not get mugged. Arm wrestle. <laughs> Five days later, we go to the wizard. You better give Robert a fair chance it. if you're gonna mug him. I he want some rules. Never There's it. actually a new competitor to the Wizard of the Wines. <laughs> he started it's called himself. Robert's Rosé. <laughs> Robert's oh Rosé, that's amazing. Thank you, James. I do for love that. a good Rosé. <laughs> it is amazing. That's going to come back on us later. Well, that's, he, Robert takes the gems like... Fuck, twist. Well, this is... You guys are all amazing. You're everything Darwin said you'd be. He hands it to... A, no, a, a nice lady that's sitting there with him. He gives it to her. She takes it. She goes around and puts it in the back of the cart. And so as promised, we've got three of our best here. Oh, they look like they're pretty strong. They can kind of guide you in if everything's okay. Um, I don't, I don't really know what's in there. It's not safe for sure. Stru- definitely structurally. Um, but I'll leave them here with you. When you're done, just send them on back to the winery. What's their name, Robert? Yeah. We don't know yet. Well, you I've asked them. Own men's names. You, well, I'm not great name. with names. I've been calling them one, two, and three. <laughs> not great with names. What are they? Disposable? <laughs> Hold on. Red shirt one. Red shirt two. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll I'll ask Ricky, names. and we can name one Bartholomew. Who they call? All, can... They all start with the letter R. Look, they all call me sir. So they'll Richard, probably all call you that. Ricardo, Ricarda, Ricarda, Ricarda. I like it. They're twins. All right, all right, all right. Hang on. I'll tell you the names. Uh, if we Random name, Richard and Richard. fantasy name generator. <laughs> fantasy <laughs> name <laughs> generator. <laughs> Dear Raven name generator. Real names. 
Hungarian. <laughs> Hungarian. Oh my god. Simone. Simone Novak and uh Ola. Tom. Ola come esta. Ola. <laughs> Alright, one, two, and three. What? Those are the names. <laughs> All right, I've forgotten already. No C one, and one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay, did, you have, did you make a note already, Dylan? I already wrote that. All right, cool. Good. Send it. Send it to me. <laughs> All right, one, two, and three. Let's You're go. You're not gonna need it. They're not gonna make it that far. Probably not. So. No one. No one. Daniel. He's like, here's your help. They have three HP, and they're dead. <laughs> the boss Strong walks up. He makes three dead. attacks. They all die. <laughs> what happened in the They're dragon fight? Kill you. He's he, he gonna kill you. <laughs> so, looking around at the help that you have now, um, the Robert asks you, "Is there any message I should send back to Avian for you?" I'll go ahead and take this uh, gem on back to him. I'm sure he's gonna be real right thankful. We'll go ahead and start getting you know, the, all the preparations made that you were looking for. He winks. <laughs> what? God, I hate this dude. <laughs> God, I hate this guy. Immediate aggression. <laughs> you could tell him that Baba Lasaga's down for the count. Oh, I'll let him know. Who's Baba Lasaga? Mm. Yeah. Strud's mummy. Strud's mummy. Oh, yeah. I thought that was R Lady Ravenloft. Mummy. <laughs> mummy it is then. Yeah. Have you said so, Bunt? Uh, I... Does this man know what he's talking about? Is anybody... Is there something I should be sending him back? Is that why you asked? No, he's oh, got me confused. Look, man, I don't know what you want. I'm just sitting here talking to you. Oh, God, Robert. <laughs> oh, my God, Robert. <laughs> Robert. Well, I'm gonna, look, it's I'd... cold out here. I'm going to go ahead and head on right, back. Go, go on, go on, Robert. All right. All right. See you, Robert. All right, we'll see you all next time. You knew anything, just send the sending, you know, while it goes out, blah, 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 blah. Robert just keeps talking. Get out. Get out. Oh, Robert just heads on out. Hi, oh, Robert. That's a nice boy. guy. Yeah, real nice. He was talkative. Very much. And that's so. coming from me. He's right, though. It's kind of cold. Should we go Inside, inside the well death place? Yes. Started. As you walk up to the statue, you can see that this large stone dragon of Argonsport looks towards the now broken fortress and Robert and his companion head on back with the magical gem you acquired for the Wizard of the Wines they head off three additional were ravens are with you and you look upon the stone statue in the tower and you prepare to go in And I think that's where we're going to end our session tonight. We just got a huge raid. I know, uh, but I don't think there's anything else happen. we can do. Thank mm. you, guys. Yes. Robert. Shout out to TPK Roleplay. Thank you for the raid. Uh, we, we are finishing up our session here. so But thank you for joining us. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, shout out to all of you. Um, but yeah, if you want to, we're, we're here every Wednesday at 7 30 Central Standard Time. If you're here at that point next week, we are going to be exploring Arkansvort Castle. And if you've been, if you're familiar with Curse of Strahd, uh, you know this is going to be just peak content. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, great. Come, come check out this fantastic, um, Ray, uh, not raid, but this fantastic dungeon we're going to go into. Uh, you can hit that follow button. You can get notified for it. You can follow us on Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and we'll be here next Wednesday as we explore this dungeon. If you want to see that, go ahead and hit that follow. Um, thank you to the cast for uh, being here tonight. And thank you for uh, all your efforts. It's a wonderful session as you defeated Bobble Psycho's Hut, acquired the gem, made it here, fought off Kirill again. Uh, in some form or capacity, made a strong enemy. Um, we want to go ahead and shout out everyone who has joined us uh, in the Ink and Liar universe today. That's I Pockin with the follow, Mo B, uh, SSB with the follow, Brother B with the sub, Channel No 29 with some raids, Void Brown with some bits, 
uh, Super Dylan with the raid, Dungeon Mom with the raid, uh, Imlu421 with the follow, Roll for Felicity with the follow, and the... We want to thank all of you from TPK Roleplay who have just joined us. I know we're, we're leaving you out, uh, or we're leaving right now, but um, shout out to all of you who followed just now. Last HP Hero, 1 in 20 D&D, and um, Nif or Nif. I think I'm saying that right. I would prefer to not know if I'm wrong, because that sounds amazing. So, shout out to all of you. Uh, you can like join us here. Nom nom. Uh, we're here, yeah, Dungeon Dungeon. Yeah, don't forget about them. We're here, we, the next time you can see us is Friday, as uh, Lauren here is going to be joining, uh, going to be playing Man and Madan on Friday at 7 30, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, she'll be playing through that. You can come vote along with her and see the adventures that she plays on. Uh, and we'll kind of just chill, talk about D&D, talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and talk about. Um, our busy week as we wind down. You can find us on Mondays as Fates In is our homebrew 5e campaign. I'm in that game. Lauren DMs that ca- game. Um, Reyna is the queen of my world in that game. Um, Absolutely not. <laughs> she's <laughs> denying, denying the queenship. Um, but you can see us there. Uh, we're going into the uh, super fun pirate airship kind of deal uh, next session. Tuesdays is Twisted Veil which is a fantastic Through the Breach Malifaux campaign. You can see a different card system, card-based system over there um, and see some different types of tabletop RPGs. Um, and then we're here, every, and that's at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, and then we're here every Wednesday at 7.30. So join us, follow us on all the socials, at Ink and Liar everywhere, and um, thank you all for joining us. We will see you next week. Uh, oh, and we're gonna raid somebody too. So sorry to 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 p- bounce past you guys off, but uh, we're gonna see you somewhere else. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.